or silch. <laughs> oh, move that way a little bit. Maybe a little more. And I'll move that a little bit. It's great that there's this crack right here. Yeah. It's good for this. We're rocking. <laughs> All right. Um, welcome back to Shop Talk. Today I'm doing Shop Talk with my brother Ken. About my first, this is my first painting, but I also have two other second and third, <laughs> however you say that. Not um, two other firsts, yeah. Right. Let us know, let me know here if you're live, uh, if the sound is good. Um, we have these microphones on, but I didn't charge them. So I don't know if they're dead or not. So please let us know if you're in that. I got the, commercials. Yeah, oh. you can go here, I'll go like this. There, I'll go like this, live chat. Bam, I don't know if anyone's here just yet. All good, says Tara. And oh, let's turn this down as well. All Wait. Good, says Tara. I was down. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can hear it. Uh, no, Sorry. Gotta... <laughs> and your phone's different. Oh, you mine. can hear it? Oh, I couldn't hear I it. I could hear it, yeah. Oh, now we're going to be here. Okay. I don't know if we're all the way up to speed, uh, though. On the yeah, so uh, that's, that's fine. There we go. We don't actually. We can just pause this. It don't matter. We just need this for the comments. I wish I had my tablet was charged or something, but it ain't. Oh, well, we don't need this at the moment, though. We can just, well, whatever. just, just hold on to it. Just hang on to that. Uh, if the sound is good, then that's good. All right. So uh, earlier today and for more of the day after we're done this, uh, I'm, I've been filming another vlog, 245 which I did mention yesterday. I also mentioned that I wasn't going to go live again until Christmas, or sorry, New Year's Eve. I'm a liar. I'm a liar in the <laughs> vlog. I'm a liar yesterday, and uh, I'll probably lie during this live. So my <laughs> bad. Uh, I know lots of you don't, don't mind the lives, but I... Basically I, what he's saying is that he's a liar. That's what right. He's to say. <laughs> so... Uh, here we are with a surprise live because Ken came over to uh, just do a, a chore or two here. And then uh, he brought these over because I needed them for my vlog. Oh. And so then we were just like, why don't we just, why don't we do this? If you watch the vlog, you'll see it. Who is that? Is that Hannah? No, that's Renee. Hello, Renee. Thanks for being here. I think I'm going to move this just a little bit closer. Sorry, this is disorganized. This is not necessarily the most professional show hey, that Chris. there ever was. Is that Chris McQuaig? It is, yep. He's here. Chris, your gifts that you made for my, not Secret Santa, uh, what do you call it, White Elephant Christmas thing that I did with Ashley's family? Perfect. Um, uh, the girl who picked them was like, what are these? And I told her they were earrings. So that worked. They were fishing lures. Huh. And then, <laughs> and then the other ones, he also threw in some uh, that he, he thought that someone would like to try. And I gave this to my brother-in-law, and he was like, oh, perfect. He goes fishing all the time. The girl who I said their earrings to, she obviously figured out they weren't because they were like a try hook. Uh, she's going to give them to her dad, who is an avid hunter and fit fisherman. So, perfect. Thank you, Chris, for making those for me. I commissioned him uh, to make me a, like a tobacco pipe years ago okay or because uh back then there was a bunch of they've uh some of them have passed away by now but uh they uh i thought they would like to get the gift the only thing is, is you don't know who's going to get it so um, i like try to influence <laughs> influence it by trying to like, get people to take up smoking when they <laughs> smoke <laughs> <in a pipe. laughs> you look like you need a pipe <laughs> That kind of smoking is not as bad, though. It's not good, uh, but it's not know. addictive. So you don't, it doesn't become, no. Oh, really? So okay. it doesn't become, uh, like, something that you're kind of, like, forced to do. Okay. What about that hook, hookah stuff? I have no idea. Is there nicotine in that? Oh. I have no idea. I went to a restaurant in L.A. not too long ago that had an outdoor patio. And uh, I was like, oh, you know, nice uh, fresh air outside, you know? So sitting there and almost everybody had these hookah things and it was just, I couldn't take it. I went, went inside and sat by myself in the, on the inside of the store 
It was okay. just, yeah, it's, it's, it's not as bad as like cigarette smoke, but it was still... Man, I actually don't bothersome. mind. I don't like it when everyone's smoking, but there's a certain... When they first light the cigarette. It smells so good. It does, yeah. But like, it's terrible on breath. It's terrible yeah. after smell, whatever that's called. Yeah. Like when it lingers when and you a, smell like an ashtray. Yeah. Yeah, that smells so disgusting. Have you ever smoked? Like, have ever tried one puff even? Yeah. Yeah. I haven't tried it to do it, but when I did magic, there was some of the magic tricks. Okay. Uh, required that you, like, blew smoke out of your mouth. Oh, okay. So and, you used an actual cigarette. For <laughs> well, I well the the trick was to make the cigarette disappear. Oh, okay. And then come back. All right. And. Uh, so, and you mask the. But the did move. you inhale? No. <laughs> I did still cough though. Oh, okay. And then when I did a uh, my Christmas video, like three years ago, maybe four years ago, maybe maybe four years ago, I I was a, a woodsman, tree chopper, uh, like lumberjack guy, and I was like, ah, oh, they smoke cigars, so I got a cigar. And so I actually, I didn't smoke them at all. I did for the scene, also didn't inhale, but it took so long to film the whole thing that I had four of them. Uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> and Dakota was filming. And so I had to move to all these different locations, which was just around, and then eventually into Home Depot parking lot. And I just bought a Christmas tree. Oh, okay. It's the joke of the... Thing. And in that scene, I think I remember that one. I, I accidentally didn't bring cigars with me, so when I flick the cigar, it's actually just a piece of tree branch. Oh, okay. Yeah, you just can't see it. So <laughs> this wasn't the tree that dented your tailgate, was it? No, that was no that that tree didn't dent my tailgate. Yeah, you, I thought it was a tree. You were unloading from the back of the truck and dropped it. Your friend dropped that it. That giant, like ten foot tree. Whatever no, it was. I don't like that. Maybe it did. I don't remember that, though. Oh, no, it hit the corner of your bed. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that was not a Christmas tree. That was something. That was just oh, a okay, okay. big log. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes, All right. that was All right. that sucked. Um, I don't remember what we were talking about exactly. How did we, how did we get to smoking? <laughs> I don't know. Hookah? Uh, yeah. Before, what was before the hookah? Cigarettes, something. And then I don't know. I interrupted you with asking if you ever had a cigarette. Well, I haven't smoked on purpose to smoke. I actually un don't understand why anyone would because it's hard to start. <laughs> like, it hurts. Chris says he still has a cigar from that video. Oh, I gave him the rest. Oh, no way. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, that's funny. Do I know where the beef and bacon jerky is? Or that there is beef and bacon jerky? He does. Yeah. I, I didn't bring it out because I didn't know if we should try it while we're doing... A lot. I think we should wait for Dakota as well. Oh, yeah? Yeah, because... Where's he at? I don't know. I mean, you could text him to come here, I guess. Okay. But I don't know. I don't I don't know. Oh, he's oh he's probably working. Oh, right. Yeah, yes. no, he's, he won't be able to come. Yeah, okay. We'll do that. We'll try the hot jerky another time. For those of you who don't know what that's even about, yesterday I opened up a bunch of Christmas gifts from you guys. And Martha sent over hot jerky and, and regular jerky and bacon jerky as well. Man, I got to wait. Well, I, you can have the other stuff. Just the hot stuff. I mean, you can, if you want. Uh, we'll see. It's hot, though. <laughs> ghost pepper. Yeah, I know. But we had that before. Was it oh, ghost pepper? Different brand. We had, yeah, we had ghost pepper, and then we also had Carolina Reaper, okay. which was even hotter. And oh, takes okay. about... 15 minutes for the pain to go away. Yeah, I'm not into that. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> you went straight for the ice cream bars. Yeah, and it didn't really help. No, no. Right, it's just, I don't know what it is. I hate it. But, but I, since then, I've had COVID, and my I can stand way hotter stuff. Really? So I wonder how much better I can handle it. Huh. Because my taste went away one of the times I had it, and I couldn't taste nothing, and then after, I would... I got hot wings like, after I had my taste back, and I had hot wings, and I'm like, I, I know, these are kind of not good. Like, not that they didn't taste good, but they didn't, like, I like the sting a little bit, but I just don't like it when it's too much, because yeah, it's not enjoyable. You, you want to taste your food, yeah. Right. And so I'm having it, like, I, I'm eating them, 
and it's i'm like ah this is not it so i ordered next time i ordered okay give me a little hotter from and, where or just wherever like you know how you can i've never well not never but almost never had actual hot hot wings anywhere but when we would go to like boston pizza I couldn't even have those hot wings. Oh, really? Oh. I would be drinking liters of root beer. <laughs> okay. I just, right. I couldn't stand it. But now, like, if I go to Winging It, which... Good wings. Shout out to Winging It for the good wings. No shout out to them for being terrible at putting the spice stuff on the chippers that they have. Like, what the heck? Even if you ask for it, they're like, how about no? So here's the hack. If you go to Winging It, check your food like lots of people do when i used to work in fast food when they would check it i'd be like what are you doing of course i made it right but some people just don't <laughs> i just assume that people do anyways uh they have great wings and they have like different flame levels if you will like they put like okay this one's a three flame hotness level this one's a four flame hotness level and then they have like the challenge as well which i'm not really interested in that because but maybe you could do it now though maybe they gave you gloves, though. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> and a fire extinguisher? <laughs> so I'm imagining, I'm imagining it's, it's very hot. Anyway, uh, now I'm like, I always get four flames. And Ashley... Well, you already had the ghost pepper, and although different brands, so maybe it's even hotter. But I think we even... I think you had the Carolina Reaper, too, which is hotter yet. So you, I think you can handle it. I could barely handle that. I couldn't handle it. Remember when jo Dakota wanted to do that blue chip challenge? I was, we were both like, no. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> He's yeah. like, we should do the blue chip. We're like, no. That was terrible. <laughs> we didn't do it, but I just watching the videos. No, it was an immediate no for both Josh and I. Yeah. Like, uh, no. Yeah. Just uh, seeing these people in pain. Yeah. Confidence through the roof. Yeah, yeah. Take a bite. Remember that one guy? This is light work. <laughs> And it, like, who? Th I don't remember who's the YouTuber who does it. If you if you type in like, hot chip challenge in the hood or something, it'll bring you to this guy. He's like this dude oh, yeah. who like pays people twenty bucks to eat a chip, and they use the whole twenty bucks buying the chip milk. <laughs> oh well, he's the chip is more than that, isn't it? It's like fifty the, bucks. The chip is fifty bucks, but he yeah. pays people okay, yeah. twenty dollars to eat it. And they use that money at the gas station they're at to buy drinks yeah, to yeah. get rid of the hotness. Yeah. And just sometimes they got to wait in line for the drink and they're just like, just ants in the pants, sort of just trying to like cope with the pain. Yeah, I'm never doing that on purpose. Sarah's asking if we've seen Pepper X, the new hottest pepper. I, yeah, I saw that on uh, yeah, that, Hot Ones. That psycho dude. That guy who breeds these peppers. Yeah, yeah. Dude, that, that he, guy. He was on Hot Ones. Did you see it? I didn't see that one, I don't think. Okay. But I did see him talking about the different peppers. That, like, he's been interviewed so many times. Okay. And he, like, keeps a vial of juice. I don't know what it is, but, like, some sort of sauce. But it's, like, clear. Is it clear? I can't remember. But he puts, like, a... Uh, what do you call those things? Like a... A dropper? Yeah. And he's just, like, just a drop on the tongue. And, like, people can't handle it, and he, like, squeezes the whole thing into his mouth. Like, he, he's fried his whatever receptors. <laughs> yeah. Uh, not, not, the, not the best. Not, uh, I, I don't know, man. He just, he's on another level. <laughs> yeah. um, but anyway, this is not about hot peppers and such. <laughs> uh, we will do that uh in the coming uh, week or so, perhaps. Uh, I haven't opened up any of them yet, uh, but but we will do that for those of you who want to see uh, the fail. If you watch my vlog, um, Jade something, I can't remember what the whole vlog is called. It's something about Jade. Just type in Joshua Alexander Jade, and it should come up. Mining Jade, I don't know. Uh, in that vlog is the one where we where we tried the jerky that you had that time. Yeah, at Mike's place. Yeah, and <laughs> so so you'll be able to see that. Compare that to whatever happens next. We'll see. Also, last year we did try some jerky that was a little too hot for me. I didn't like it, uh, but I can't remember what it was. Was it Carolina Reaper jerky? Uh, I don't know. Doubt it. You, no. Uh, if you're saying it's a little too hot for you, no. 
The Carolina Reaper one's way too hot for you. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, like I said, it's about 15 minutes of pain, so yeah, yeah, man, I just, I'm not looking forward to it at all. Well, if, again, this is the ghost pepper one, apparently, so it's like half as hot. Half? Probably. It's still super hot, but it's not not the Carolina Reaper. That one's worse. I don't know how the Schoolville uh, scale works. Or the, the higher the number, the hotter it is. Yeah, I know, but, like, it's <laughs> this one's 10 million. What is one? Oh, uh, like nothing. I, I don't know. Like, water, like, water would be zero, I guess. Okay. I think uh, I think I read a uh, jalapeno pepper is like fifteen thousand. Okay, what's like a McDonald's right? Zero. <laughs> what do you mean? That's that's <laughs> what are you talking about. You never had McDonald's right? Yeah. Dude, it's spicy, man. What? It's got, I think that's just the carbonation. I know, but it's like they they got some. They got they put a little something extra. It's not in there. heat though. No, you but think, it they is. Didn't, they don't have pepper but juice in there. Like you can't chug it. Well, well actually, probably, there you is, could if it wasn't so carbonated. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's just the carbonation, it's spicy, though. man. <laughs> it's like a. It's got a little. We need to get you a dictionary so got, you can read what spicy. It's means. got extra bite. There's a dictionary right there. Bark's got bite. It does. <laughs> but like, I feel like you could drink root beer, any brand, way faster than you can drink Sprite. I don't know about that Bark's though. That stuff does bite you. I don't know. Yeah, it's good though. I remember the commercial. But see, it's not the actual Ouch. Sprite, though, because if you let it go flat, you can chug that, no problem. Yeah, but who drinks flat It's the carbonation. Purpose? No, I get it. <laughs> but why is Sprite the way it is? Oh, if it's clear, it's more? Oh, hint of lime and freaking spice is what it should say. <laughs> God dang, it's, not, it's no good for, for quenching thirst. Well, it's probably not good for quenching thirst regardless, but like... Anyway, uh, it's probably like at least a hundred on the Schoolville, in my opinion. <laughs> that's still next to nothing. I mean, you've had a jalapeno, okay? That's got some bite to jalapeno, it, Jalapeno, right? yeah. I that's 15,000. I could eat that uh, like, and be fine, I think. I, I, maybe I wouldn't like it if it's just by itself, but like, put it in like a salsa or something. Yeah. Right? Put several jalapenos in there. Put them on a sandwich. That's fine. Okay. Right? But I think by itself, maybe I'd still go, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, uh, they do to me. Well, it depends. Sometimes some are hotter than other ones, so some are fine and some some hurt. Chili you know. pepper, that one's lower, right? I actually don't know. I don't know either. Okay. Well, anyway. So then, like, those ghost peppers, I think around 1 million or 1.2 million or something like that, Scoville heat units, and then the... Reaper? Uh, Carolina Reaper was like two point something, if I remember. Okay. A million. So, lots. And how do you measure this? No. Is it is it that guy? Yeah. Like, ah. No, there's some. I don't know. I, like, how do you sign? Like, how do you? What tool is used to measure Schoolville units? Like, how do you like spicy ketchup? Okay, this is. 35, okay. I don't know. I would imagine it's related to how they figure out how much energy is in something, how many joules of energy is in, you know, a carrot stick. How did they figure that out? I didn't even know that was a thing. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. Joules of energy, like stored energy. Yeah. Potential energy. Yeah. Uh huh? J-O-U-L-E-S. Well, that's probably to what it breaks at. Uh, what? what it can withstand, how much pressure it can withstand. No, 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 no. No, it's actually how much energy you get out of it, consuming it. Oh, what? Like calorie-wise somehow. Yeah, like, kind of, yeah. Okay. Or not calorie-wise, like because it's got like the sugar and all that. <laughs> that is weird, man. How do you do that? I don't know. So like, okay, so you got a carrot, but then you also got like a gummy worm. Gummy worm's got way more sugar in it, I imagine. Yeah, so more calories, but I don't know if that equates to more joules. Hey, man, I, Joel, Ashley's brother, he's run. He's a runner, right? And he does long distance running now, and he's like in it. And he's like he like, and he's like a nerd, right? So he like he figures out how to be optimal, and so in his training and stuff, he's like he's like okay, this time I'm gonna take chips. This time I'm going to take crackers. This time I'm going to take, like, all these different things. I have salt, sugar, okay. mix, 
Well, he's, he's trying to figure out what's, so what works best for him. Body chemistry? And yeah, or something, right? Because he's burning so much calories, so he has to eat while he's right, doing it. Right. He drinks ginger ale because it's got ginger uh, in it and huh. it's also got sugar in it. So good energy out of the sugar. Ginger ale to settle your stomach because huh. you're sick from expending way too much energy. Huh. It, way too quickly. Oh, that's interesting. Like Apocalypto. So unrealistic. That guy running, not eating once, <laughs> being shot with an arrow, bleeding out. How long was he running? I don't know. I don't remember. All night. All night? All day and all night. Well, you know, apparently humans uh, are built for running long distances. So, like. Yeah, but. <clears throat> yeah, but like. He's being chased. There's people who. Okay, uh, I, mean, I don't remember the movie, so I don't know how fast he's running, but. Humans are like it through the forest. Are humans are optimally adapted to chase down prey that we've injured because right. they overheat, they stop, yeah, they give up, yeah, exactly, and we just keep running and running and running and catch up to them. Eventually. That's because we can sweat. Yeah, yeah. But if we couldn't sweat, we'd be dead. Right. Yeah. We, yeah. It's just like a dog or a pig or something. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, dogs can't sweat except for out of their paws, and that's why they because they're trying to get all the hot air out of them so right. you can cool their belly which helps somehow I don't, anyway uh that's incredible anyways you see people at these runs like literally eating handfuls of like gummies candies okay trying to get like they want the sugar lots yeah. of sugar because so, your body doesn't have to process it first so it's like free energy in a sense cause using it right away yeah. yeah 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 and like people who are bigger uh they also uh, like some people, like you hear them talking, whatever. I never actually like was like, Hey, what's your strategy? What? But like, there's like p all sorts of people do th do this, uh, uh, running. In fact, actually one of their cousins also, she's quite large and she does long distance running. And anyways, hearing them talk about how their, their strategy of consuming calories and stuff. It's so cool how they do it, how they like figure it out. Yeah. Because obviously someone who's in like, who's light, they like, People are like skin and bones, and they're going. Yeah, like yeah. people who are skinnier yeah, than yeah. me, and less mass to move. Right. Yeah. So they their strategy obviously is different. Uh, Joel's father in law was a long distance runner. He still is, but he's retired from like like doing it professionally or whatever. Um, or I don't know if he ever did it professionally, but uh, <clears throat> like doing it like seriously, whatever you want to call it. Um, he told told us about his uh, his regiment and whatever, uh, but he says like no matter what, when you're going a hundred kilometers, you're gonna be delirious. Yeah, because you're just... so those guys are trying to figure out basically what combination of things to eat to extract the jewels out of their what they're eating most efficiently. I guess. Yeah, dude, eat some carrots. <laughs> so I'm guessing the eight Scoville heat unit thing is similar. They have some instrument that i think actually one of those tests involves like burning the thing that you're testing i forget how it goes oh how much carbon is left <clears throat> something or something yeah burn a carrot or renee was saying that's why you pay attention in math class but but actually it was i feel like it must be science, science. Yeah. <laughs> or uh yeah science using science math. biology or something yeah yeah maybe it's yeah biology class or science class <clears throat> anyway Anyway, speaking, speaking, speaking of running. Of, <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah, he says, speaking of running, I was going to say, speaking of hotness. Oh, yeah. This is my first painting. Yeah. I don't know how we got onto this, uh, but he, we're back. Uh, so, in the vlog that I'm going to release next, we show this, and then I also say that we're also going to show these. My first three paintings that I ever did. Real quick, uh, I'll probably do another live with uh jolene jolene is is my friend who got me into painting and this is the first one that i painted with her like not with her she painted her own picture but wait should we do the first one last and show the other two first why i don't know why not? Nah. no nah, we'll see <laughs> not gonna tease them that much all nah. right so all right. how it happened well here it is <laughs> yeah, how it happened is uh, for those of you who don't know, I did explain this a few times. So sorry if this if you've heard this before, but I wanted to explore. Uh, well, we both wanted to explore an abandoned uh, school, and uh, so we made plans to hang out one weekend somewhere. 
And so I went over to her house and it happened to be raining. And uh, as it was raining, uh, obviously mud and shit becomes an issue. We didn't know it would be an issue because obviously sidewalks and grass and such to get to this building. However, since the school was going to be torn down, they also tore up the whole block, like the whole everything. So the playground was ripped out, the whole soccer field, everything was tilled up. So everything was upturned. So the whole field and parking lot, mud. So we decided, nah, I'm not walking across the mud to get into the school. We'll wait till it's not raining and we'll walk across the dirt. So we'll do something else today. And so as we're walking back to her house, we're like, okay, what could we do? Why don't we do this? Why don't we do that? And one of the things she, she suggested was, why don't we paint? And I was like, dude, I'm not painting. That is so dumb. And she's like, well, you can draw and such. And I was like, ah, that's yeah, different. Painting seems lame to me. I, I don't know why. I just thought it was like, like too hoity toity like, for you. Like, no, like sissy, like. <laughs> Which doesn't make any sense, because why would it be sissy? You're like, paint? I'm not gay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, was, I just didn't know how to, like, be a fan of it. Although, when I was a little kid, I loved painting in, like, kindergarten and stuff. I hated using the big brushes, because you couldn't get detail and stuff. Mm. So I wanted the little brushes. Mm. And, like, I didn't like, because they had big brushes, so your signature had to be huge. Oh, yeah. I was like, that's so <clears throat> dumb. It ruins yeah. the picture. <laughs> right? So I, I just... Anyways, I didn't, I didn't like it, or I thought I didn't like it. She convinced me that it was a good idea. Let's go to the dollar store. So we went to the Dollarama, the dollar, common dollar store that we have, or Dollar Giant, maybe. I can't remember. One of them. We go there. I pick up this canvas, pick up several bottles of paint, and then we head back to her house and I'm like sitting on the floor just wondering what I should paint. She picked up an even smaller canvas like this big. And it was like a, a tree being struck by lightning, I think, if I remember correctly. That's what she painted. And I was looking at that and I was like, see, this is why painting sucks. Like if I were to draw, like I'll just doodle whatever. I just couldn't get it. So I go on the Google machine and I start looking up inspiration. I'm like... I don't know what I exactly was thinking of. At the time, I was still doing, like, magic, like, doing trying to be a magician. And uh, so I was like, okay, I could do something with that, maybe. I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. And then I decide, okay, I'm just going to paint this. So I looked at I had a reference photo of something. And uh, basically, I copied and then put my spin on a picture that I saw on the, on the Internet. And I've tried to find that picture again, but I... I have no idea how to search for it. I've tried all sorts of search <clears throat> words and whatever. Anyway, sometime later... I have an idea of what it might have been. Yeah? Yeah. But I'll tell you after, the, okay. after we show it. Sometime later, I... Uh, so this was my first painting, and then I didn't paint for months. Like, this was in 2011, I think. And then in 2012, I started painting again. You only painted this one that one day? Mm -hmm. Oh, shoot. I didn't know that. Yeah. Because I didn't see it until you had all three done. Yeah. You showed me all three at the well, same I time. Well, I probably just had it okay. somewhere. I don't know. Maybe <clears throat> okay. I even hung it up. I'm not sure. No, I, I never saw it. Oh, you it. know why? You showed me all three at I left it at once. her house. Oh, okay. Yeah, I left yeah. it at her house. And because uh, she had like a, okay, yeah. a dining room that had a like a ledge all the way around it, you know, like a half wall yeah. in front of the wall. And so she had like other paintings that her and her roommates had done. Oh. And so they had like paintings because they were all in nursing school. Oh, okay. And uh, so, anyways, I just put it up there. And then when they were done school, she gave it back to me because they weren't going to rent that house anymore. Okay. So, anyways, then I get it back and then start painting more. And so I painted these two after. And then you, for some reason, bought them. Yeah. You, which which well, we've explained on a previous yeah. shop talk. Uh, I can't remember exactly what you said, but. Well, I was like, you painted these? And you're like, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like. <laughs> by yourself <laughs> like, I yeah I just uh, I remember asking what your I was still a kid what your inspiration was and stuff and you were like I don't know I just uh, just painted it I'm like okay well they're gonna be mine now so I went 30 bucks each I went to my room we got some cash I yeah paid you 90 bucks and there here we go so they're 
that's Canadian dollars too, so that's like five bucks American. So <laughs> still good for us. So this is the first painting that I've ever done. If you've never seen it, be amazed. <laughs> Woo! So, so Donnie Darko. I was gonna say that you were. I was gonna yeah. actually say Donnie Darko because uh, another friend of mine, uh, Larissa, thought it had Donnie Darko vibes. Yeah, yeah. I've never seen that. Because he there's a rabbit, and then I think if I remember right, he does take his yeah he does. Does, it, does he and, have and a rabbit head underneath his rabbit head? No, though? no, it's Donnie Darko. Okay, it's, so it's a, this concept is not mine, but I just I just did it differently, and I don't remember what the original looks like at all. But I'm sure if you dug, you could you could see exactly something. Well, you'll see that this is is that. But so this is why different. I was saying, speaking of running, because if I saw that, I would be. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say, be like, because rabbits. I oh, yeah, okay, rabbits run too, sure. But uh, he's even got a fluffy tail. Yeah, he does. What's up with the heart, though? What is it? I don't know. I, I was trying to be edgy, I guess. I don't know. Okay. He's got a bleeding heart. <clears throat> His one ear is flop-eared. Is that because of our dwarf rabbit that we had? Could be. I don't know. Yeah, what was his name, buddy? I don't oh. know. Rabbit? <laughs> oh, he had a name. Dopey. Dopey, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. Dopey, the flop-eared rabbit. And he was also black and white. Yeah, he was. Yeah. And he lived in the freaking furnace room. Yeah. Laundry room. So, yeah, as you notice, there's you can actually feel there's writing underneath this. So he originally had some... Pr uh, yeah, I probably wrote said, something here. said, like, some lyrics or maybe some... Like, I don't know what it said. It's hard to... But like, feel it. Feel it there. I wonder if we could decipher what it says. You need somebody who can read Braille. Yeah, but this is definitely not Braille. Or not Braille. Braille, but I mean like a blind person who can feel yeah. like the letters. Oh, actually. I know. I thought I might get T? a angle. So in the vlog, I bring this up. I might actually to this scene if I can figure it out. I think it's a T. O? T O. That looks like an N, right? You said M earlier or N, but I don't know. I think, oh, wait. Tony, the... T-O-N-N-Y? That's a Y. T that doesn't say anything, though. Tawny? That doesn't even make sense. But there's more underneath it, though. There's more down here, maybe even all the way down here. Or maybe that's a B. Maybe it's not a T. Tommy the bunny? <laughs> <laughs> Were you trying to do a twist on Tony the tiger? I doubt it. I'd... Bonnie I'd... the bunny? Yeah, but then this goes all the way over here. Like, this is impossible. Which, by the way, uh, is is the picture clear? Can you guys see? Do I need to get it off of uh, uh, Wi-Fi? Let me know in the comments there. <clears throat> I'd like to buy a valve. <laughs> Irene is asking where I hang it in my house. Uh, sadly, I just have the three of them sitting on a, a bookshelf. And uh, so you can only see the one that's in the front, actually. He's just waiting for me to die, and then he's going to sell them. Uh, yeah, more. but first I need you to sign them. <laughs> well, this one's signed. Oh, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Oh, okay. So, wait a minute. We may as well go look at the second and third. I have no idea what this says, but... Oh, you did sign them. Holy crap. Okay, oh, you know what I needed, though? A dedication? Well, then they wouldn't be worth as no, much. No, not a dedication. Was was like that it was your first official painting. But I guess this is good enough because you're admitting it on live TV. <laughs> I've never been on live television before. Yeah. Have you, have you seen the, that the kid? Yeah, I just watched that today. You reminded him, me of him earlier when you said obviously twice in a row real soon. Oh, yeah. Or, or close together. Because he starts out in his interview. He's oh, he like, says apparently. Apparently. But then he went on Ellen. And he's like, no, I'm over that word. Now I like to say obviously <laughs> or, mm. or something like, oh, no, seriously. Sorry. Oh, okay. But anyway, you reminded me of that. So, okay. do, so you then do you even the, remember what these two are? I can see it. Ah, oh, crap. I can see it through here. But you remember what That's my second one that I did. This one? The mm -hmm. black and white one? Mm hmm Okay. And uh, when's the last time you saw this one? Same time that I saw that one a long time ago. Okay. I can see through the canvas, though, yeah. so I, I can see what it is. So this was my second one. You can see I was a little more uh, original, if you will. So like that's just something that came up from my head, which obviously, as anyone could come up with that, I'm sure this similar pictures have been painted before, <laughs> but he's a crow sitting on like a holly branch, 
or something. Did you know holly doesn't get prickly until it's been eaten? Oh, yeah. I did know that. Or I heard that, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, I got a little dirty. Yeah, I don't know. Is that actually dirt, though? That's, that's got to be from you. That's from paint, isn't it? Uh, I, I don't, don't know. Because I've never done anything with them. They shouldn't well, have got dirty. I don't know. Maybe from rubbing against that? I don't know. I don't it, think it's so. It's dollar store paint, so I don't oh, know if it adheres super well. Okay. But, yeah, so I, I did a couple paintings as time has gone on with, like, half-finished birds. I like the look of it being, like, like... It's not exactly gothic looking, but it's like, yeah, you know, well, it's just like, <clears throat> I like that the, um, uh, what's the word for it? Uh, like not the framing, but the, uh, composition where like, you've got this bird that's facing sort of the wrong way, if you will, he's yeah. facing out of the frame on this side. And then on this side, there's this branch, like, I don't know. It's just, uh, it's what art should be. It makes you wonder like, what is this? You know? Yeah. I don't. I never followed any rules of like rules of thirds or whatever any of those things are. I just kind of just did whatever. No one told me what to do to do it right. So I just did it my own way. And I'm glad that it worked out, out that way. Like in school, like in like junior high and stuff, we still took art class and stuff. And so there was like things like assignments to do. But our school was like we didn't have like an art teacher. We had a teacher who taught art, if you will. And so it was like, hey, paint this or draw that or whatever. It wasn't like, okay, today we're going to work on blocking. And now we're going to work on composition. And then we're going to work, right? It was just like, draw, draw this. <laughs> yeah, like that's what it was about. And like, I, I, I like that I missed out on real art classes because... I thought I already thought I was a better artist than everyone. And I, I don't necessarily think I'm better than everyone. I just think that I have, uh, my own best ideas. I don't, I do take suggestions and ideas from other people, of course, but I don't think that I ever want to be taught how to make a picture, just how to maybe execute, uh, certain methods if you will, like I suck at drawing hands. So if someone could be like, Hey, this is how you can do it. If you do this sort of technique, I like that, but I don't want to be told, Oh, you shouldn't draw a hand. That's, that's, I don't know. Yeah. I guess holding yeah. a grenade. That's stupid. That's not, that's a terrible example, but there are, there is a yeah, certain, to, like certain rules, same for photography. They're like, Oh, you need to do have this in this part of the photograph and this and that part of the photograph. And, and I was like, ah. All right, who cares? Yeah. Who cares what you're supposed to do when it already looks good the way I did it? Yeah, your formula, your art doesn't need to follow a formula. No. <clears throat> it couldn't be helpful, though. So I shouldn't say that it never works. I just say, right, I, no. I, I think that it, if it does, if you don't need it, don't use it. Anyways, so then, so I painted that and I actually was like, oh, I want to do, so I did a crow, the, what some people, depending on your tradition or your religion or your beliefs or whatever, uh, that, like that's the evil bird. <laughs> They're not evil at all in real life. I, actually, he actually kind of looks he, like a raven. He looks like he's been harmed by the holly and he's giving it the cold shoulder. Yeah. Like they're in a relationship and he's just not happy right now. <laughs> look, look at that beak though. That's a raven more so than a crow, right? I guess so. I don't know. Anyways. I also kind of like that it was like the One shoulder. Oldest. Yeah. The shoulder on this side here almost looked like it could have been another beak. Yeah. Like, lots of people actually thought that when I showed it. Yeah. Online and stuff. Yeah. Uh, and Until I, you see the legs. But I actually still, was, was going to say that. Yeah. So, yeah. So I did the, I did the, the gothic bird, the, uh, the dark bird. And then I decided why not uh, do like the opposite. And so I, uh, decided to do basically the same picture sort of, but, or not the same picture, but the same idea of a picture, but with a dove instead. And so this is a dove and it's very minimalist, just three colors. It kind of looks, uh, Gothic as well, sort of because red and black it reminds <laughs> me of Dracula, but it's just, uh, I don't know. Yeah. I, again, you got the bird facing out of the frame and you know, most people, would have had the bird the other way, 
probably. Well, here, pro- probably in the same place, but facing the other way and that kind of thing. And I just liked that it was like... Wrong? Wrong, <laughs> yeah, I guess you could say, yeah. And so I saw these three paintings and I was like, yeah. And I was like, wow, I, I was really impressed. So well, I bought them. Thank you. Uh, and they're now for sale for $20,000 each. <laughs> <laughs> um, from there, I just started painting all the time, basically every day. Uh, not necessarily getting better, but just doing different things. And then when I when I think I started getting better was when I started painting uh, uh, people because people look like themselves. And so if it doesn't look like them, it's not good, right? And then in painting people, I consider it good. I think I started painting everything else better as well. But those, I think, are they're fine. Like those, I would paint those again and sell them, I think. Like if I didn't paint those pictures before, I would paint. And I happen to paint them now, I would, I would sell them. Does that make sense? Jeez, I stumbled across that <laughs> through that. Irene's asking which is my favorite. I think uh, <clears throat> this one here is my favorite. All right. I painted another one that people loved, same size canvas, but I painted it like uh, uh, like dry brush style, kind of like how I painted that astronaut where it's unfinished. So I just painted like just the rough crude shape and I just... Should I show it? Or do they not? It's always better to show than to tell, right? Yeah, well, I don't have the bird here, but this is the uh, the astronaut. So this is just... This was just an underpainting, just to get the shapes, but I liked it so well that I just left it. I just think it's a fantastic piece. Again, probably done like wrong if you were to ask someone who teaches art, but maybe not, I don't know. Um, it's, it's unfinished, but it, it's finished. Um, I was actually, for those of you who have not followed my Instagram, or wherever else I would have shown this. This is what I was painting when I started that piece. Uh, but I just liked it so well and I didn't want to risk not being able to do it again. So what I've done is I've, I've, done, uh, I've done the same dry brush blocking in and then it did not turn out cool, it didn't look good. So then I just moved on to f- like more detail, if you will. Uh, I'm not necessarily trying to go for realism. I'm, I'm not that uh, uh, disciplined. I don't have that discipline. I'm not that talented. I don't have those skills, but uh, <laughs> maybe one day. Uh, I wanted to have more deal. That painting's not done. I just kind of left it as I started working on other, other pieces. Do you um, remember the next thing you painted after these three? Uh, I may have painted... Hmm, I actually don't know. I painted probably more of the same idea. But like, I painted so much. Like I painted like a wolf howling at the moon. I remember I sold it for 25 bucks at the Art Walk. I was so stoked. I was like, <laughs> what? 25 bucks? I sold, I sold probably 25 paintings at my first Art Walk. I made oh, wow. 700 bucks. I was oh. so stoked. And uh, I don't know, how old was I? 17? Huh. Something like that. I didn't so, know you started those that long ago. Yeah, I was like, probably, I think. I know I could drive. So, because like I drove to Jolene's house. Because I remember, because I parked, I parallel parked between these two cars. And I was like, like this far from front and back. I just had a, all right, Austin powers it into that space, and I took a picture of it. It was in my uh, Chevy Celebrity. Remember that piece of junk? No. Which of your twenty cars was that one? <laughs> that was the. That was like that bluish silver, uh, rusty thing. I had Nos spray painted on the side. I don't know if I ever saw that one. Oh, okay. You, you there was a period where you had like a new car every few months. It was. I don't know what was going on. That's because I was so broke. You had <laughs> and so you I had could... fifteen different vehicles before I ever had like three. <laughs> yeah, you still have your first car, your first truck. Yeah, 
Anyway. Your, which was your first video? Like, yeah, no, I did. But that's because like I got screwed over by my boss man who sold me a car that was, and I knew nothing mm -hmm. at the time, right? Mm -hmm. So and it had a blown head gasket, oh. and everyone I talked to was like, oh, oh, that's the end of the world, oh. which is not. It's just it's expensive if you get someone else to do it, but I could have done it. Yeah, it's just unbolt, replace, bolt back on. Pretty much, and. And it's a, it was a Ford Probe. So my first car... Oh, I remember that one. My first car was a Chrysler Intrepid. I remember that one. Right? It was white. Nice car. Got it from mom's best friend's son. Right? There was a bullet in it. Like, uh, shot into it? No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> there was a bullet that I crunched from, like, the seat. Oh. And it got stuck. On the bullet. Yeah, on, okay. the, on the casing part. Oh, okay. And I pulled it out, and I'm like... Oh, and it was big. I don't know what caliber it was, but it was quite big. Okay. Uh, not for a rifle, it was for a pistol. Oh, okay. Which, I don't know, like... Are you sure it wasn't for a rifle? You're just thinking of a tall, long range cartridge? It was... So it was like for a 22? Thick. No, but it was thick. Oh, 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 okay. So maybe for like a... Like, what's a 9 millimeter? 9 millimeter or something, yeah. yeah. We don't have huh. lots of pistols here in, in Canada. When I got this truck, which was an old rancher's truck, I was cleaning out the burnt interior, removing stuff, and behind the back seat, they had spilled a box of ammunition, so I had, like, a bunch of shells back there, too. Like, yeah, but they were rifle, probably. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's way rifle. more, yeah. makes more sense, because yeah. pistols are restricted. You think somebody was doing a drive-by with that car? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> dropped, dropped a bullet? I, I have no idea. Anyways, so I have that bullet somewhere, I think. Mm -hmm. Um but anyway, uh, so what are you doing with the the bottle caps I bought? Right, that that's a, that's a future thing. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, I can't talk about that. No, that's well. Currently, it's okay. Okay, go carry on. Sorry, <laughs> that's okay. It's just it's a camera stand. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what they're for. Um, All right. Uh, yeah, so I got that car, and then I wrecked it by drifting, drift drifting it. Uh, it's a front wheel drive car, so I had to use the e brake, and then. It wasn't a, it wasn't like a handbrake e-brake. It was a push, and it wasn't a push to release. So I had to tie a shoelace around the release because I couldn't do this while I was driving, right? So I had tied a shoelace around it and put that in my hand, and I would be <laughs> drifting around in the new construction because there would it would be all dirt roads. Oh, yeah. Way easier to drift on the dirt than oh, yeah, on yeah. the road. More so your power sliding. But anyway, I just loved doing that, and then I apparently bent the frame because I kept. <laughs> apparently <laughs> i think they just lied to me apparently so i <laughs> apparently i just bent the frame and apparently yeah so i i was drifting around and i kept messing up my front end like steering components and stuff uh -huh. and so i kept bringing it there and they're like well what now oh my god i just i was just having fun and then they just told me oh you you can't we can't fix this this time you got a bent frame so i just let it sit which car was that the tre Intrepid. Oh, okay. And so then I gave it to the tow truck driver, Bernie, and because uh, the RCMP, had, I had it on the street. And I didn't know in the city you can't park on the street without a plate or yeah. if you're not insured. Uh -huh. And so I was just like, oh, well, I'm not going to put insurance on a car I can't drive, which I could have driven, driven it because I actually saw him like a few months back at the gas station. Where was this parked at? Outside my house. Oh. This one I lived in Spruce Grove there. Okay. Right? So I had it out there. It gets towed by Bernie. I see him a few months ago. So this is like how many years later? 10 years later. And uh, no, more than 10 years. Like 15 years later. And I see Bernie. I'm like, Bernie! He doesn't remember me. But he then I told him, I'm like, oh, I, I gave you my car. And he's like, oh, yeah. I just oh, sold no that way. a few months ago. What? I was like, what? It still you, works? You could have bought it back? <laughs> yeah. Wow. So So that... That happened. Anyways, my boss, man, sold me a Ford Probe, and I drove it for about two weeks, maybe, and it blew up. Well, head gasket blew, so coolant just pissing out, and I obviously couldn't drive it. And uh, so, and he sold that to me for a thousand bucks. And and then from there, I uh, he told me it was fine. He just didn't drive it because it was like a, a sports car, Ford <laughs> Probe. It's kind of a yeah, sports car, I guess. I guess. Did you know this probe was supposed to replace the Mustang? Replace it? Mm -hmm. 
Because it's front wheel drive people, the Ford thought that people weren't liking that the Mustang was rear wheel drive. Huh. So they were like, oh, well, let's make it front wheel drive. And then the Mustang fans were like, what are you doing? And they're like, oh, oh we're going to continue with the Mustang. This is actually the probe. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So dumb. They save face by, but, oh, no, just jokes. <laughs> yeah, so they. I had the second generation pro. Oh, I actually man. don't mind the car. Anyways, from there, I, I, I turned in. I that car blew up, and I had to get another one. And then it just kept happening because, like, I kept getting beaters because I couldn't afford anything. Yeah, yeah. And so I, I took what I could get. Well, it was literally fifteen vehicles in no time, and I was like, well, "How is that possible?" Yeah, and you know what's funny is, uh, customers of the pizza joint were like. <laughs> like what every week we show yeah, up a different car like a guy was like why do you even work here and i'm like what do you mean so i can keep buying shit cars <laughs> he was like he's like well he's like clearly you don't need a job because you have 30 cars <laughs> and i'm like i'm like have you seen them <laughs> like they're not lambos i'm like no i keep uh i i at that point i probably had like five cars that i just had because i had like I had my Mustang, I had the Celebrity, I had the, the station wagon, oh, yeah. and I had uh, the, the, they used to be a cool car, Skylark, and oh, okay. uh, so I'm, I had four cars, I guess, <clears throat> and I sold a couple. You were ready to start your own junkyard. Yeah, I could have had like one of those, those really tiny uh uh, car dealerships that are like on a corner lot, you know, yeah, yeah. They're, they are, they have like 30 cars on half. An How acre. many can you fit in mom's driveway? Yeah. Well, anyways, I got rid of, I got rid of them and then I just kept the Mustang obviously. And, and then the D Dakota, whatever. I, the well, Do that came the Dodge with, Dakota. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I told him that he should, but he's like, ah, yeah, that's, totally. that's lame. No, way, said, that's awesome. Um, but anyway, yeah, the car thing, that's, uh, yeah, I needed a truck. Chop, I eventually got a truck. Chopper, goose, guff? I don't know. Josh, are you enjoying painting or metal art more? Okay, so I always say that, like, painting is my first love, but definitely welding is my, like, that's my favorite as well. Like, it's even. Yeah? Like, woodworking, I like it, but if I could never do it again, but could still weld, I would do that. Hey, uh, do you want to try using a plasma cutter? Yeah, I would love to. Do you have one? Yeah. It's in yeah. the truck. I actually need it for my... So for my show, guys, this is just... Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be filming a lot of stuff for the show. I'll probably do like a, a big video, so I'll film clips here and there. One of the things I want to do, uh, if you have time while you're here, we should go there uh, just so you can see it. I don't know if you care to, but if you do. Uh, the gallery in, not in Western Mall, but in the other one, the... Londonderry? Londonderry Mall, Yeah. yeah. So their store has a big door uh, in the middle and then two like bump out windows on the side. Okay. And I want to put a full size, like if you're looking at it outside, looking in, I want to have a sculpture on the left and right. On the left, I want it to be a full size bison. And on the right, I want it to be a full size hammerhead shark. Uh. <clears throat> and I'm going to make the hammerhead shark head out of hammerheads. So it's going to weigh about... 800 pounds or more yeah it's gonna be hard to move <laughs> you're gonna have to build it into a dolly yeah with some casters yeah so you can wheel it around yeah I'll, i'm yeah oh. exactly yeah <laughs> i'm not i'm not gonna try to lift it there <laughs> yeah, okay and anyway uh what i want to do for helping with the weight the head is going to be solid because it's all going to be hammerheads wow. and i'm i'm I actually wanted to do it out of hammers. I looked online to see if yeah, anyone's yeah. done it. Of course people have done it because yeah. it's so obvious. Yeah. Uh, in fact, one guy made one, the whole shark out of hammerheads. Okay. Brilliant. It's a fantastic sculpture. Uh, I don't want to make the whole shark out of hammerheads. Yeah. I like that idea, but I don't have that many hammerheads. So the amount of hammerheads what I have. What if you did a hammerhead shark shaped like a hammer? Instead of the other way around. That's funny. Eh? Yeah, that would be eh? good. That would that would actually work for uh, an upcoming series of paintings that I want to do. I could also do sculptures. And he's with hammering it. in a nail. Yeah. Or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it would also have to have a punch. And he's nail. got a box of bandages <laughs> next to him. <laughs> 
Because he's injuring himself. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I like that part, but I, I like the hammering uh, in the nail. Yeah. Uh, but, or, or some other ocean creature or something. He's hammering something. Right. Uh, anyway, I, uh, I want to do like hammers, like full hammers. Like, yeah. So they'll have wood in them. So how many have you collected so far? Uh, maybe like 15. Oh, boy, Not, you got a ways to go. Yeah. Send so, him hammers. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm going to, uh, maybe I have more. I don't know. I have a, like, all since right. the art trunk is now organized, it's easy to find them. They're all in one spot. So you're going to keep the ha the handle of the hammer in the thing? Yeah. Okay. On some of them. Some of them, it won't work. Oh, okay. But, yeah. And so this sculpture is going to be, like, partially wood, too. So I'll have, like, all right. broken up wood. I don't know how exactly. Okay. But, like maybe if I could get wood from a boat or something, oh. like that would be cool. Okay. Uh, but anyway, driftwood. No. I'm gonna make uh, because this doesn't really go. I'm gonna make the body shell whatever to help with weight. Uh, out of I have a shitload of saw blades, and since I don't want I don't want them to look like saw blades because it's a shark, not a. I don't know what. Yeah. I, I want the pun there are to be this. Aren't there like sawtooth fish or something that you could? Oh, there probably is. I think so, yeah. But is there a saw shark? I saw a shark! All right. <laughs> right. I saw a shark attack. Anyways, I will, I, yeah, plasma cutter to cut them into uh, like random shapes. Like just cut off oh, okay, yeah. chunks, right? Oh, okay. And I like the slagginess of it. As long as people aren't going to get snagged and cut on it, so I'll have to do some shaping with like a grinder yeah. or whatever. But <clears throat> okay. besides that, you know, like I made that full size goat for the Canada Winter Games okay. and the freaking people sat on it and I made it out of expanded steel that was all like cut up and like it came out of a mangled mess. OK. And people sat on it and obviously you're going to pinch your nuts. <laughs> right. This is, I was like, oh, my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> You, right. it's, you clearly should not sit on it. So I don't want that to happen. No one's going to sit on the shark, I don't think, especially not in the gallery, but I don't. This was like a public art piece, so All it right. was out. I actually right. want to buy it back from the city so that I can oh, really? sell it for more because they only paid me 800 bucks for it. Oh, oh. They didn't ask me to make that. They asked me to make uh, something that has to do with Canada, mm -hmm. and it can be about the Winter Games, but it doesn't have to be. <clears throat> okay. And so I was like, Hmm, what should I do? And Landon actually got the commission. He asked me to do the thing. So Landon's like, oh, well. He's like, I was thinking great horned sheep is Canadian. Yeah. I was like, oh, big perfect. Horn. Yeah. Or big horned big sheep, horn, yeah. whatever. And great, so I was great horned owl. Okay. He actually did a great horned owl. That's funny. Uh, yeah. So big horned sheep. So I was like, okay, I'll do that. And I thought rebar would be good for the horns because it has that, oh, yeah, that yeah. ridge. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I did that. And then I made the head, whatever, put the body and. Yeah, it's it's cool. I could actually, I if I buy it back, I'm going to actually make it better. A still amateur, like trying to figure out how the anatomy would fit together with random scrap. Yeah. I think I would do a lot better now. Looking back on like my so first, is there something at the gallery you need me to look at, or or you just wanted to show me the just space? for shits and giggles? Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, You're describing the sculpture. I'm like, okay, do you need me to figure out how to put the thing there? Or no, no, no. <laughs> just just to see the the space because I'm actually oh, okay. going to take the entire gallery for me right for that day right so all the art is going to be mine and you got a pile of welding to do but yeah i got a plasma cutter in the truck it's uh it's brand new why do you have it uh because it was a deal and i mean it's, it's cheap it's like 200 bucks i paid for it and oh really it yeah and uh some guy was trying to get rid of it and so wait it you just bought hmm? did you say you got it on sale yeah kind of i mean it's brand new the guy never even used it but Originally, it was like 260 or something. Oh, so it was never... Okay. Yeah, U.S. dollars. What if yeah. it doesn't work? 200 bucks? Like, that seems like very cheap. Yeah, well, Is I looked up Harbor reviews on it. Uh, probably. I, yeah. I, forget, I forget. But I looked up reviews on it, and guys were saying they could cut half-inch steel with it. Not not well, but it would cut it. I don't need it to cut well. In fact, I need it to cut badly. Okay, it probably won't do that on thinner metal, unless you... No, that's okay. Metal. That's okay, but okay. I, I will, I will, uh, I will, uh, I mean, I needed to cut nicely. Yeah. But it's, I think we just need some uh, air fittings, which you probably have. All right. Yeah, I'll try it out. That would be fun. Uh, and then don't burn your shop down. 
Ah, oh, that's fine. <laughs> Just get a new one. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, obviously I'm not trying to do that, but uh, yeah. Um, does anyone have any questions about anything? Because uh, if not, I think that's... Somebody was asking how long I'm, I'm going to be here. Uh, I don't know yet, uh, probably just until after the new year, sometime the first week of January. All right. Are you coming back in May? Uh, I hope to come back thereabouts, but I don't know if it'll be May. Okay, well, if you do come around May 20th-ish, oh, yeah. you can come to my show. Oh, right. Yeah, uh, okay. But you're probably going to go gold mining again? Well, I hope so, but uh, we need permits. We're still waiting. Depends on the claim permits and stuff. Mike or whatever. is optimistic. We got a notification that it had been moved to an inspector's desk, so it should be under review. And so, it should be approved because it's the same plan that was approved in the past. So theoretically, we could have a permit for next okay. year, but uh, right. who knows? Cool. Um, I'm, I'm preparing for it anyway. I brought up more truck parts and excavator parts and stuff. So, Right. What are you going to do with the old excavator big-ass gear thing? <laughs> we can bring it back here if you want. Yeah, that would be awesome. All right. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but... Well, it can be part of your John Deere. Oh, yeah. Because it's yeah. John Deere excavator. Yeah, So yeah, you've yeah. got a crankshaft and... But it's... It might be too big, though. You can cut it up. With your plasma cutter. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. like this thing. <laughs> Good luck with that one. <laughs> yeah. I'd have to yeah. cut it up with... Uh, yeah grinder or something uh, uh are we gonna free? eat the beef jerky no we're not we're not gonna not do it here time. we'll do it next live not next live but the next next live i actually didn't know we were gonna go live but i uh if you watch the next vlog you'll understand why we went live because it just kind of got brought up and so here we are so are either of us going to be traveling to see the solar eclipse in the u.s in april well i'll probably be in the U.S. in April, but... Why would it only be in the U.S.? Well, like, sometimes they are more, like... like Oh, more lined uh, up. Yeah, yeah. Depending on where you are. It's more more eclipsed, depending on where you are. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, that's... Yeah. By the way, Flat Earth. No. God, it's frustrating. <laughs> Man, so... You've been I've, having problems with the Flat Earth? Yeah, like stuff keeps falling off. No, uh, since I've been doing the uh, the uh, NASA, the NAS astronauts, the astronauts. <laughs> since I've been doing the astronaut hot dog series, I keep getting uh, like in my hashtags. I put like NASA. I put this. Put that. So like my my what do you call it? Uh, the Con algorithm is like thinking that I want space and therefore flat Earth stuff. Oh no way! Yeah. So like I I'm getting like. Like, I'm posting on Instagram, but on YouTube, it's like, well, I'm also searching a lot of space stuff, too. So that's probably it, actually. Because okay. I'm, like, searching, like, cosmonauts and okay. different types of uh, spacesuits. I wanted to I wanted to get my, my friend uh, Alex uh, to crochet me a spacesuit. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. It's, it's for my show. <laughs> and she said it's going to take too long. So uh, there's there's this... Russian spacesuit. I don't know how to say it. Maybe it's like Kreshet or something. I'm like, dude, if you crochet me a Kreshet, because it kind of sounds the same, kind of spelt the same, that would be sick. Didn't work. Anyways, next thing there is, oh, the flat Earth has two moons. Uh, what? Huh? When did this happen? Oh, it's so that the other people on the other side of the Earth can see the other moon or some bullshit? Yeah, I don't or know. something. What? Yeah, but how come the moons look the same? They look exactly the same somehow? Yeah, they are. Well, isn't the moon a holograph? I don't know. Who so knows? Many... These people are dumb. Yeah. Sorry, if you're a, a flat earther, you're, you're just not using your brain cells. No, all you have to do is research. Don't let them lie to you. <laughs> yeah. That's a, that's a big thing. Yeah. But well, look, now that you've painted these astronaut paintings, you're part of the cover-up. You're part of the... Hot dogs what, in the, space. Yeah, the, whatever you call it. The, <laughs> the conspiracy. It's, you know, they're they're going to well, be against you now. They're going to boycott your videos. Maybe. I mean, it's already happening because of... I don't know why. I just get way less views now, so maybe maybe it's because of that. Uh, but yeah. but uh, one of the things that I saw was uh, uh, 
uh, oh, dang it. Now I just forget. The, the moon. Yeah, there's two moons. Shit. Dang it. You interrupted me right at the perfect time to forget. Oh. Uh, but, man, yeah, the flat earth thing is, is very frustrating. Uh, oh, one of the things. So one of the arguments I saw was in a reel or something where there, there's these four astronauts, I think, or maybe five. And they're all like like floating like this, but like they're not floating away, right? And then th one of them's holding like a earth. Baby? Yeah, baby oh. in space. <laughs> He's holding an earth, like a globe, okay. but it's a bouncy ball, like a beach uh, ball. Okay. Right? And so he's squeezing it, whatever. He drops it, and everyone's like, oh, shit. Oh. But it falls. Uh, and, uh, they're, and then they're the, the... But did it fall or did it squeeze out and yes, propel itself? That's exactly what happened. <laughs> so when people say, you're an idiot, you just need to research, you just need to, whatever, open your eyes, stop being lied to and loving it or whatever i'm like dude if me if i can i almost just said if me can refute it then it's not right and if someone who talks like me obviously is not that smart so i was just like okay obviously it went yeah. but it, and it fell yeah. so slow uh, yeah. so it obviously uh, there was obviously something not that, earth gravity so they're like oh well i was reading the comments oh there's helium in it oh so it's more oh, convincing oh, well helium oh would make it float up right yeah but maybe yeah. if it's too heavy it would still fall i guess and yeah. then and they're like oh they're clearly in harnesses yes they are so they don't freaking float away yeah yeah so they don't have to keep doing this yeah they're on tv <laughs> oh i don't want to right and they're all yes they're in harnesses they almost always are in harnesses when they're doing the thing i don't yeah. i didn't know that was a secret but there are some of them that are weird like one time there was a mouse where'd the mouse come from no. Yeah. On the space station? The supposed space station. There was a mouse. That doesn't what? make... Yeah. So if I feel like obviously they weren't... Either they weren't in space or... I don't <laughs> so know. So the rats are hitchhiking uh, not just on ships anymore and planes. They're going on spaceships now I, yeah, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I know that some people in my audience are flat earthers because there is one guy in particular... Who, Is his name Glenn? No, he's joking. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, no, he's always joking. All right, all right. Uh, there's an, I forget actually what his name is, but he sent me lots of articles on it. And I, and I was literally... On the mouse? No, no, no. On other things. Oh, oh. On, about flat, flat earth. stuff, and, okay. And I was just like, I'm like, I don't even need to look anything up to be like, no, that's not true. Yeah, right. Right? Yeah. I'm like, if if you don't even have to look something up... If, it's, if the explanation is that elaborate, it's probably wrong. Well, right? not, you know, not only part that, but like me, I don't know yeah. about space, Yeah. but I know enough, like just things, like like for example, this is a different guy, different story. I have told the story before, but I'm going to tell it again because I don't think I've told it to you. Uh, I was working on a house in BC. So I would always go to the rec center to shower because yeah. there was no running water or whatever. So I'd go there and I would go use the pool, or not the pool, but the hot tub and the sauna and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then I got to talking to people because I go there every day and they go there every day. And so they're regulars. I've become a regular. You learn about people, you start talking. One guy, his name was Uncle Mike. <laughs> biggest conspiracy theorist i've ever met in my life and it's not just like there's conspiracies that are real and there's ones that are convincing and then there's ones that are bullshit <laughs> or there, there's even ones where you're like i don't know about that but maybe and then there's yeah. ones that are like that's nah, not real yeah right he believed in all of the ones that are definitely not real elvis presley's still alive he probably believed that <laughs> he would definitely be dead by now because he'd be so old. But there's definitely people. No, that... he's still living in his uh, upstairs uh, floor on in Graceland. Yeah, he's up there. That's why they won't let you walk upstairs. Wait, that's what it is? Yeah, yeah. Because they won't let you go upstairs in his house. Because he's there. Wait, haven't you been upstairs there? No, I was downstairs. They won't let you go upstairs. All right. <laughs> you know you can go in the house though, so just go upstairs. No, you're not. You can't. It's like roped off and stuff. Oh, like with a force field. <laughs> yeah. It's there might impossible have been, to get up there. There might have been somebody standing there, too. I can't remember. And he's invincible. I, I don't know. I it must know. be, because why else would it stop people who are passionate about it from going up there? Yeah. They yeah. must be invincible people I guess behind I, a force field. I just 
I just believed that he's there, so I didn't need to prove it, you know, because it's true, so. Right, okay. So, <laughs> anyway, so Uncle Mike is arguing with someone about space. And I'm like, wow, about gravity, actually, I think. Oh, okay. And he's like, and he, he's getting mad. He's getting Gravity is fake, watch! <laughs> <laughs> no, he wasn't like that. He's saying that you you fall down just because gravity's not real, and also the Earth's not spinning at however many fifteen hundred miles an hour, whatever it is. All right, fifteen thousand. He's like, where's the fucking wind? And anyway, oh he's, no way. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so I'm just a guy who's minding my own business, and I ask him, uh, like, wait a minute. There's, well, he says something about uh, the Mars rover. It's not actually on Mars. It's in the desert somewhere. And I'm like, oh. I'm like, what? It's not on Mars? Like, I thought he was saying, oh, it's come back, whatever. I didn't really understand right. exactly. And I'm like, okay. Wait, and he's like, yeah, we just got pictures back and there's a duck. And I'm like, there's a duck. He's like, yeah, there's a duck. Quack, quack, a duck. And I'm like, dude. I'm just asking. I'm not saying there isn't a duck. I'm like, so there's a duck on Mars? He's like, yeah, which means that it's not on Mars. Right. Uh -huh. So then I'm like, okay, well, I have to see this. So I go home after, and it's there was way more shouting at me, like I'm some freaking guy who's... For asking a question? Yeah. Anyways, I go home, I Google this, duck on Mars. And so it shows a picture of the supposed duck on Mars. And I immediately go, well, that doesn't really look like a duck. It kind of looks like something that kind of looks like a duck. Mm -hmm. And just kind of. I'm like, it looks like a rock. And oh. it kind of looks big because, like, it's kind of far away. Yeah. So it looks like it's, like, at least, huh. you know, it's big. Huh. And well, those Martian ducks are really big. <laughs> yeah, but those aren't earthling ducks. He's saying <laughs> that we're not on Mars. <laughs> so... Next day, or whenever I see him, I'm like, okay, well, this duck is clearly not a duck. Also, why would NASA put a duck? Why wouldn't they take that picture out? But also, ducks don't yeah. live in the desert. They're waterfowl. Right, yeah, they yeah. need water or they will die. Yeah. Everything needs water or they'll die, but they, they, they need water. Yeah. So I'm like, what? Why? the duck isn't from nature because it wouldn't be there. So NASA would have had to bring it. So it's someone's pet that they would have let roam in the burning hot desert, waddle around, and then they would have taken a picture of it and then put it in with the collection of pictures to release to the public, yeah. being like, look at all these cool pictures we got back from yeah. Mars. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Why would you sabotage your own... Uh, like they're smart roof. enough to fake the entire thing, but they're not smart enough to pull out the duck. Why would you bring the duck? And then, yeah. like, you see pictures of, of NASA trucks and such in the desert, and I'm like, yeah, training. Right, yeah, yeah. Duh. Did you know that the Mars rover is, like, the size of a car? I didn't know it was that it's big. It's huge, yeah. I thought you, it was, like, this big. As, I thought it was an RC car. Yeah, no, no, it's huge. Oh. Yeah, no, I went oh. to the JPL, NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in... Um, Altadena there, in, or Pasadena in uh, Los Angeles, and uh, they've got a, they've built more than one, so they could right. experiment with them on Earth. Right. <clears throat> Maybe they, in the desert? Yeah, see what they could do. And uh, yeah, it's like the size of a small car. Huh. I didn't know, like a smart car? Uh, bigger. Like a punch buggy? Uh, bigger. Like a Corolla? Yeah, probably about that, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Dang. Huh. Yeah. I mean, it's not as solid as a car because it doesn't have a body like that, but the overall dimensions, it's right. like that big. It's huge. Huh. Yeah. I did not know that. Good yeah. thing it don't, it don't, good thing it, wow. <laughs> huh? What? <laughs> See? <laughs> good thing it doesn't have rubber tires, though. I think they, they don't have air inflated tires, but I think they have a rubber tread, no? Oh, no, they don't. It's just a steel, you're right, or yeah. aluminum or something. You're right, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, and that uh, thing walked until they, like, broke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it lasted way longer than they thought it was. Yeah, and that's why they broke like that, because the thing's so big and heavy. Oh, okay. Think of it walking over rocks. Yeah. Whereas if you had an actual little RC car, it would go forever on the same wheels, right? Right. 
Well, it's cool. Anyway, yeah. so they saw, so they were showing pictures. This is a different incident or interaction with me. But uh, they were showing, like, these NASA trucks and such in the desert. I'm like, okay, if anyone is going to be like, hey, let's not let the freaking world know that we're duping them, uh, it would be the people who are duping you. Don't put stickers on the trucks when you go yeah. out to the to the desert. And also, <laughs> right. don't take pictures of your own trucks out there yeah, yeah, and show right. everyone. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. They're like, how is there a Ford F-150 on the Mars? It isn't on Mars. It's on Earth, and it's on purpose, and this is just training. Like, what? Yeah, yeah. Gosh, it's so frustrating. Yeah. It's yeah. so obvious. Now, maybe JFK was killed by the CIA. I don't know. But definitely... Well, NASA probably does something too, because like Operation Paperclip, that's a real conspiracy. What's that one? Have you heard of that? I don't know. I forget. Where the where the U.S. and Russia were trying to like snatch up the brilliant uh, Nazi scientists, and they excused them of their oh. war crimes so that they could like advance in the space that race. That makes sense. That's yeah. a real conspiracy. That, right. They pretended that they weren't Nazis. They gave them new lives and oh, yeah, yeah. stuff. <clears throat> yeah, and, yeah. And so they excused their atrocities. See, that's horrible. They shouldn't have done that. Obviously, they're going to cover that up because they know they shouldn't have done that. Yeah. And they knew that people would be horrified, especially the Jewish folks and everyone else who has been uh, like afflicted by th that sort of evil. That's a real conspiracy. <clears throat> yeah, that makes sense. What about the UFOs or the UAPs and all this stuff? Dude. What's going on there? I got a friend who really wants to believe and it's he's like but look at this and but look at that and i'm like yeah but when you really scrutinize each individual thing it usually falls apart you know yeah and some of them have been debunked already and much the, of them the ones that haven't been debunked it's just a matter of time or even if we don't get an explanation you still don't jump to the conclusion that it's an alien or that it's, you know, some technology from an alien world or whatever. I think there are aliens. Yeah. Not here, though. I think they could be here, but I don't think, I don't think that Joe Blow has found them, if yeah, there are I, any. Yeah, well, that's another thing. But, so do you think that they've revealed themselves? Like, like lizard people kind of thing? No. No, I mean, like, do the governments, do, do the governments know about it and the people just don't know? Uh, I feel like if they did know about them and they said, hey, we don't know what these are, they could have just said, yeah, they are them. So, no, I don't think so. Okay, so so you're not sure if they're here, though, but, like, if they are here, in what way are they here? Oh, like, I think it's possible. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, okay. I thought, I okay. Like, did one crash and the government picked them up and are experimenting using their technology to, to advance our, like, war machine and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Or... Potentially, that might have happened, maybe, or but I'm the, not convinced of it. Or the government is just interacting with this alien race and... I don't think that. Yeah, okay. Because that doesn't make sense. Yeah, so that's what my, because my friend has, has been leaning towards, is that, is that uh, the governments know about it and have secret programs and... And okay. Have like the potential I feel is there, but I am not convinced by anything that I've been shown or uh, like yeah. any media that's been like, oh, dude, we right. know this because of Area Fifty One. You're not even allowed to go past the gates. Right. Well, yeah, it is a freaking government facility. You're not even allowed to go into the back of the courthouse, and anyone's allowed in the courthouse, but you can't go in judges' chambers. Right. Yeah. Like the. Yeah, right. And no yeah. one goes like, wait a minute, aliens are in there. Right. And I, I don't doubt that the U.S. military in particular probably has advanced weaponry that we don't even know about. Those are, the, sp those are the alien ships probably. Potentially, yeah. And, and there's, right. But some of the thing is like, oh, what, but they move so fast that no human could withstand the G-forces and stuff. Well, maybe there's no human in there. Maybe it's like maybe a drone. A drone, yeah. Yeah. Because uh, uh, the... A lot of the the footage of them like going really fast. I yeah. watched this channel called Cor Corridor Crew, Corridor Crew. I think it's called Corridor Crew, and they they do special effects and stuff. And they do, they have a a series that's relatively new, I guess, where they debunk 
Okay. Alien footage, like yeah. not alien footage, like uh, UAP footage yeah, or whatever. Yeah. And they're like, like lots of them are just made by people, but yeah. some of them are real footage that has been uh, misinterpreted. Yeah. And they, they, they or something. They, yeah. they figure it out so well. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then they also go into like the metadata. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And they're like, oh, well, this was not filmed with an iPhone. This was filmed with this or whatever. Oh, like yeah, they yeah. figure out that this person's lying. So yeah, yeah. why would they not lie about the thing that seems more like a lie? Right. Right. So yeah, that stuff is cool. I don't know. I would be probably freaked out if aliens came. So as would everyone, and I think that's reasonable. So I think, but also blown away. Like it'd be super cool. Although I think I'd be almost more impressed by how they got here from another star system because they're so far away. Like, how the heck did you travel? Well, maybe they've been traveling interstellar for a long time already. Well, millions of years. I mean, why not? How many light years is the closest star? Like, but they also they also think about uh, they also think about they also talk about like uh, string theory and shit. Yeah, and see, that's the thing. Is I think that if 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 it was possible, if if aliens have actually been here, they traveled through some means that we just can't even, almost can't even fathom. Right. They Something always like they often describe like the folding of a piece of paper. Yeah. As well, and I like I don't if, know about that necessarily, but I'm thinking more like alternate dimensions and shit like that. Like Interstellar, when they get into, when he gets into the black hole and he can see his own life. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Or his own past. Yeah. Or yeah not his own uh -huh. past, but like he can see. Something and then he influences the past, right? Yeah, with the with dirt, the dust and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Right. that was cool. Yeah. Well, now that, that we've solved the alien thing, what about uh, time travel? <laughs> oh, have you heard about the? Uh, have you heard about? Oh no, you told me about this. What? So yeah, you have heard about it, about the scientists or whoever received something before they sent it, or or sent something. Before? Yeah, yeah, they were sending like a particle. From one instrument to another, and supposedly it arrived before they sent it. Right. But then later, and as soon as I read that article, I was like, okay, they screwed something up. I just don't think it's possible. So just being skeptical, I was like, no, that's wrong. And uh, I figured that they probably, somehow the sensor picked up the thing... Um, uh, I don't know. I think there's just stuff about like, with like waves and stuff that we just don't quite understand yet. Right. Yeah. And so I figured uh, that something went wrong with their experiment. Give me one sec. Continue. Anyway, and sure enough, I think it was months later, they did conclude that they had somehow made an error in, in the measuring of it or what. I forget what it was exactly. Right. Okay. That's like uh, the idea. Have you seen that video of the girl touching the spider on her phone? No. She, she's tr touching the spider through the glass. It's in a jar. Okay. She's touching the spider there, but it doesn't move. Okay. Obviously, there's glass in the way. But and when then she jumps at, the, at your screen? No. <laughs> well, I hate those videos. <laughs> but she's touching the spider on her phone, and the spider's jumping around. But then this scientist, late, probably not even a scientist, just some lady who duetted the video or whatever, was like, oh, it's LiDAR. LiDAR in the iPhone. Huh? So the LiDAR is bouncing off the spider. As she's touching it, because it's refocusing. Oh. So the iPhone uses LiDAR to figure out how far away something is. Yeah. And that's how it always auto-focuses. Okay. And so the spider can sense the LiDAR. Oh, no way. Yeah. Oh, so whoa, it, that's cool. Which oh. is just like a light frequency or something. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. that's the thing, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so... You know, there's particles that come from space that will travel right through us. and through, through Earth and stuff. I, I forget what they're called, but... yeah. But, yeah, and you can see them in like a fish tank with smoke. Yeah, exactly, or something. with the well dry ice, so fog. Dry ice, okay, yeah. fog. Yeah, I have heard of that. I listened to a podcast about that. I listen to podcasts almost. Well, like, every how day. wild is that? There, how how is it possible? There's this particle that will just, just go straight. right through our bodies, and we don't even feel anything. It yeah. doesn't hurt us. That's actually uh, one of the theories on these uh, and convincing, or not convincing, convenient theory to come up with that dude who some executive or politician or something of something who tried to stop something <laughs> smashed into a tree wait what his, what? his car uh was was uh hijacked okay uh and it was smashed into a tree by at like 100 pentagons? miles an hour and he he 
he previously had said, uh, well, he had like a new car that could if, be, yeah. And he's oh, like, if, like if I kill myself, I didn't actually kill myself. Oh, and then he kills himself. Oh, no way. By crashing into the tree. But what could have happened, because this has happened before, he just wanted is a cork went into his electrical something in his car, which it caused it to accelerate. No way. But also, lots of people wanted him dead, so probably someone like, just hijacked it. Or he was just pranking everybody, and he just said that, so that when he killed himself, everybody would be like, hey, there's a conspiracy! It, it could be. <laughs> he just wanted but to start a conspiracy theory. That did happen to uh, someone when, when uh, electronics and cars were new, and that's why there's so much redundancies in cars now. Uh, in in certain like for the brakes for electric brakes, okay. So if you have manual brakes, doesn't matter because it's manual, obviously. But if you have electric brakes, there I'm going to explain this wrong, but let's just say there's like three computers that control the brakes, okay, instead of just one. Because okay. if there's just one and the cork goes in there, it f's it up. Really? Oh shit! They, the brakes don't. Yeah, oh. I listened to a podcast about Holy it. Crap! Uh, never... In that that same podcast about seeing it in the fish tank or whatever, huh? Uh, I don't know if it was a cork or something else, yeah, but yeah, some sort the, of the, like the particle, energized yeah. something goes okay. in there, f's it up, and uh, it, you know it's rare probably because like is that also why sometimes your microwave will just be like beep? It's uh, like why does it do that just out of nowhere? I don't know, right? Or like uh, or like uh, I have never experienced weird things like that. The microwave just beeping by for no reason? No, I don't think so. You probably But anyway, if, even if it did, I would just be like, ah, oh, it's got a glitchy circuit board, whatever. Yeah, but like, why? I don't know. Why is Electronics, it man. They don't make yeah. any damn sense. I, I, I guess. They work one minute, not the next. All yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah, like a TV. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Oh, it works. Yeah, totally. An yeah. NES game cartridge? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, except that, that doesn't works. do anything, but yeah, exactly. <laughs> Electronics are finicky, so you just never know. I guess, but apparently I don't think it was a like isolated incident or something. I can't remember okay. exactly, but yeah, I don't oh, know. Ne I, neutrinos, yeah, I think that neutrinos. was what it was, right? Okay, okay, who said that? Jim Gerlinski. Oh, Jim, he's the blacksmith, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, obviously... Uh, a blacksmith would know a lot about electronics, so neutrinos. <laughs> um, Instead of quarks, I think that's the, the okay. word. Okay, yeah. neutrinos, okay. Yeah. That probably is, yeah, what are quarks then? Uh, I don't remember. Well, there's, there's something. Yeah. Which is different than a quirk. He probably knows, ask him. The, the hot astronaut. dog astronaut, yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, I like conspiracies. I like learning about them. I like... Because uh, sometimes we talk about it with, like, like I'll talk about it with, like, my friend Ham or whoever. Does he have a ham radio? He probably does if he's a conspiracy nut. He should. Uh, but I love, I love talking about them because it, I think it, it uh, encourages, like, critical thinking. Because it's so, yeah, yeah. it's so easy to be lazy. <laughs> yeah. But the problem uh, is that those people who believe those theories usually... Just dismiss whatever you say. Like you can't. There's no logic that you can right. impart it, to them. That, I think where they'll be like, "Oh, maybe you're right." You know. But it's still valuable for me. Oh, it okay. Makes me As an think, exercise to yeah. Okay. Because like, yeah. although I may not convince you as the conspiracy theorist uh, that uh, I don't know, whatever, pick one of them. Earth ain't flat. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. the Earth being round, then. Maybe I'll learn something because sometimes as I'm right, explaining right. shit, I'm like, oh shit, I didn't know that uh, consciously, but I've always known it, obviously, because I'm explaining it to you. Right. And I love that. One of the things I heard once was that the best way to learn something is to teach it. And I, I found that's yeah. true too. Is like okay. sometimes you're trying to find a way to explain something to somebody who has no idea about anything that you're talking about, and it forces you to simplify what you're trying to explain so that they'll understand it and in doing so you fundamentally understand the thing you're explaining better yeah, yeah that's a good way to yeah okay psychology man yeah and that works with a lot of things but like also it doesn't work if yeah if the person's nuts and believe, like one for example those two paintings right there they're obviously painted on paintings that were already existing 
and I painted Bigfoot on that one, and I painted the Loch Ness Monster on that one. Right. Um, when I was painting the Bigfoot one, someone in my comments was like, because we were like, oh, Bigfoot there was real? already somebody already said Bigfoot's real, <laughs> uh, so, and Bigfoot might be real or might have no, been real. No, oh yeah, I don't know. He might have been real at some point. Where, where? Are, okay, here it was. Chopper, go, goof, go, well, guff, whatever. Where are the skeletons? Yeah, where is the? Well, there's that big. Where is the evidence? There is that Gigantopithecus, right? That's what it. The the that's the 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 monster of Bigfoot. It was called the Gigantopithecus. Where did it live? And uh, so this guy, uh, some anthropologist or something, wait, whoever yeah. deals with bones, uh -huh. saw a primate canine in uh, like an antique store or something. Okay. And he was like, oh, that's a, that's a freaking huge tooth. Okay. And it's somehow he knew it was from, or maybe it was like a mandible or something. And he's like, well, this is massive. And somehow that is what Bigfoot led to was. being led to the discovery of a new species. Yeah, that was already gone though. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Because this thing was old. Where already. did that thing live though? Uh, somewhere. Did it live in Oregon? I, I think it was in Asia. No. So, <laughs> so this. So, so I think that Bigfoot. It's possible that Bigfoot was real because, like. Although we know that the Tasmanian tiger was real because there's pictures and evidence and whatever, it was extinct. And now, rec somewhat recently, they saw one in the wild. They did? Yeah. Really? Yeah. But it's been elusive for how many years? Because it died in like the Are 50s. Are you sure about that? Yeah. And not something else? Because that's a pretty big animal to per not Perhaps to it was something else, but I'm pretty sure it was a Tasmanian. Or wait, hold on. Is that the one that can do a 90 degree? Uh, I think so. Or a 180 not, degree mouth opening? I'm not sure. Or big ass of mouth opening. Yeah, I think it's that. Uh, some brilliant, uh, when I say brilliant, I mean awesome, uh, like anthropologist, zoologist guy. I don't know what his title is, but he found it, I think, or he saw it somewhere. I don't know. Okay. I don't know where. And uh, so it was. Next but did he get any evidence of having seen it? Oh, well, his credentials are legit. He's not. Oh, oh, he's okay. not a. Oh, okay. He's not a conspiracy guy or whatever. Okay. He wasn't looking for Bigfoot. All right. Um, he, I'm he, still going to be skeptical. He's a legit dude. Totally. I don't know if he took a picture of it or not. I can't remember. But he told. I listened to him on Joe Rogan. Okay. Which he's got a lot of conspiracy theorists on his yeah, show. Yeah, but, yeah. But, you're not helping your, your but, argument. But, here. but he is legit. <laughs> like, this guy is legit. Like I, I almost, I, I, I almost followed him on Instagram. But he has too much that I don't care about on his Instagram, so I didn't. Um, but anyways, the Bigfoot thing. If Bigfoot is real or was real, he's not a fourth dimensional creature. No. Yeah. Right. I, mean, I get that. There's a creature like that could have existed in the past, but. The people who believe the theory believe that it exists now, and we just can't find it. Well, I think that that's possible somewhere in the world. I don't think he's in my forest, but yeah, I think he's yeah. he could be in a forest. But what I don't think is the reason why we can't see him is because he slips into the fourth dimension, which we can't oh. see with our eyes. And oh. when I was painting that, someone Maybe said... Maybe they are the aliens that were flying the spaceships, actually. The Bigfoots? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they got to have some kind of hands. It's Chewbacca. Or yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, in any case, I was getting so frustrated because I was like, then how do you know they're real if you can't see them? Yeah. Because you wouldn't. I mean, that doesn't even make sense. Well, well they, sometimes you can see them, but only with bad cameras. Yeah. That yeah, doesn't yeah. make sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, I don't know. I, I had a recently a dream. I don't, almost never remember my dreams, but for some reason I did recently. And... It was regarding aliens, because I've been having these discussions with my friend about the UAPs and the aliens and stuff. And my dream was that I was in town somewhere, I don't know where, and I, there was a spaceship hovering there just, you know, over town. And so I'm like, oh man, you know, now's our chance to catch them. <laughs> and so I'm like running towards the spaceship, and then I see a Toyota Tacoma drive away quickly from in the area underneath the ufo right and in my dream that was a, a thing where people had started noticing that hey when you see a spaceship there's like the aliens escape somehow on the on the ground in a toyota tacoma 
the truck okay. <laughs> drive off. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, there's the Tacoma. You know, there's the alien. So I knew to not, you know, go after the ship. I knew the dude to was in the Tacoma. The truck, yeah. yeah. And then it, like, I don't know what happens next, but it cuts to, like, I'm in town. Uh, okay. Or another part of town. It's daytime now instead of nighttime. And I see some kid, like, 10-year-old boy walking, try, going up steps to go into a business. And I run up and I grab it. And I'm like, I've got you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and he's all like, oh, oh you know. <laughs> and then some other people start crowding around because they're wondering why I just went and grabbed this 10 year old kid. And I'm like, he's an alien, you know. And I'm like, what's your name? Because the aliens don't know the, their human names. He's inhabiting this kid's body. The aliens, oh, right. right? Okay. So, so he doesn't know the name of the kid whose body he's inhabiting. So he's like, bleep, blorp. Yeah, exactly. No, your name so is I'm, Derek. So I'm like, so what's your name? What's your name? And he wouldn't tell me what his name was. And then his mom shows up, and she's trying to, like, diffuse the situation, but she's not mad at me for some reason, and I've got her kid by the neck, you know? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, just, just you know, just don't, uh, don't tell him what, is, what the name is, but make him tell you, what, you know, ask him what his name is. And so she asks him, hey, what's your name? And, and he wouldn't answer her either, or, or I don't know, some, whatever. Anyway, and then I'm like, your name's John, isn't it? Which was a fake name. I knew it wasn't his name. All right. And it's just to try to trick him, and that didn't work. But anyway, so his mom somehow figures out that, yeah, that is an alien. That's not my son because he didn't know his name. And then we then now had proof that aliens were on, uh, on Earth with us. And so that was the first time, like, the, the, the conspiracy was proven to be true. And it was all because of you. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And then you woke up and you're like, ah, oh, dang it. <laughs> <laughs> Me and that Toyota Tacoma. Yeah. Dude, uh, my... Uh... One dream that I had when I was a kid, I still, it's a reoccurring dream. It changes, but I, uh, um, I had, so, okay. In this dream, I go into this house. This has nothing to do with conspiracy or, or aliens, but it's mysterious and it's influenced my life in real life. So in my dream, we go into this house, the house that we, in Winterburn area. Yeah. So that house. In real life, Dakota and I, so this this is not a dream, this part, but in real life, when we first moved there, Dakota and I, we were too little to help move, right? We didn't move on anything except for maybe our own stuff. Some boxes. Right? Because we were too, like, not strong enough yeah, for big yeah. boxes, whatever. Yeah. So we're playing. Oh, yeah. You guys were actually really little. You were, what were you, like, five or something? Maybe seven. Oh, no, maybe five, because actually I did go to kindergarten there, actually. I remember we built that snow fort in the backyard yeah, that one it. time. Yeah, and, and you I were had just like an this arch. big. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I made it out of, like, blocks. You made blocks with that shovel, that metal shovel. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was so cool. Yeah. Yeah. We used, like, all of the snow in the yard. Yeah. We, got, we got one wet snowfall, and we used pretty much every s snowflake. To build, to build this a, fort. Yeah. Like there, there's, <laughs> there's green grass everywhere yeah, and a snow fort. Yeah. Um, anyway, it, when we moved into the house, and you can ask Dakota the same thing, uh, we it's a collective uh, delusion. Yeah, okay. Because it's, it's, it's not possible. You saw something under the stairs? No, dude. But before that, we had when we had this monster whose name was Sam, who was Sam. Who passed away? Oh, our, like our cousin. cousin Sam, yeah. yeah. And when he died, like we didn't understand death. He was under the stairs. Oh no way! And we would. Were you at the funeral? Freak, yeah. Okay. We would freak out and say, "Sam's coming, running oh. up the stairs!" Oh no! Because he was gonna reach through because it was unfinished stairs, right? So oh, you could, yeah, yeah, you could reach underneath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy shit! So it <laughs> actually inspired me to like make a one day whenever make a horror short film called sam's coming well you did or are you going to i want to oh okay and so it'll be uh oh, man. his his name will be sam's coming instead of sam because i think that's an eerie name like it's uncomfortable to say not uncomfortable to say it doesn't sound right what's your name sam's coming that sounds stupid so it sounds crazy sam scumming sam's coming <laughs> sam's coming anyway Fast forward to our uh, uh, the winter burnout. Just moved in, yeah. Right, we're moving in and stuff. We found these McDonald's or like some like Happy Meal like toy. It was of Sonic the Hedgehog, 
that like he has fire behind him and you push the fire and he like rolls out okay and there was two of them in the house and we were playing tag hide and seek with those so you had to tag them with shooting those things right because they would spring out or whatever so we'd be hiding around whatever the house was decently big especially for little kids yeah all right upstairs basement, downstairs yeah. main floor and the basement that, had like 14 foot walls yeah and yeah. like a room underneath the kitchen area which was my yeah. day's room whatever right in there right so we'd go all the way around hide behind the furnace hide upstairs whatever we both swear that there is a room in that house that doesn't exist that oh. we both hid in because it was impossible to find each other in there <laughs> and just waiting forever to be found it's not fun so you get out of the room and then so you're where's this room i think it's in mom's room well, that's because so you, not never, the, you so, never got found in mom's room because you weren't allowed in there. So, so if one of you was hiding in, no, it wasn't. No, it was when it was brand when we first moved. Like, oh, we, we, weren't, were, we weren't moved even, in yet. No. Oh. Yeah, and what? remember, her room was like the room. Yeah. The closet, which yeah. was like a hall closet, walk-in closet, and then the bathroom. Yeah. I remember that, but for some reason. There is another room in there somewhere, I think, <laughs> that obviously is not in there. Okay. It's impossible to find. Huh. It happened to him, too. I told him about this not too, like, well, a long time ago now, but, like, you know, and I was like, and he's like, dude, same. Huh. Weird. What'd you have for lunch that day? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's probably fast food. It's poison, they say. Uh, but anyways, huh. uh so you guys had never talked about it before until recently? And, well, then, and then you both were like, yeah, so, I had the Like same years thing. ago. But, oh, okay. but yeah. Sure, yeah. Way later than that. Huh. Yeah. Which is amazing because like I... Well, you're brothers, so you got to share the vivid imagination maybe. Maybe. You know? I don't know. But anyway, from there, I have this dream that's influenced by that incident. I've had it since I was a little kid where... I go into a house, and in the house, if you go through enough rooms, it or through the right combination of rooms, it leads you to a secret part of the house. Okay. And I still have that dream now, every so often. I'll probably have it tonight because I'm talking about it now. Maybe it's like Field of Dreams. If you build it, they will come. I haven't seen that movie. What? But no. Oh. It's baseball, right? Yeah, yeah. So this guy goes and buys like a cornfield, buys a farm, whatever. Yeah. And then he's having these dreams about uh, like Babe Ruth playing baseball and stuff. Like whatever. These these ghosts start appearing to him, and he gets the f idea that he needs to build a baseball diamond for them. So he mows down his corn, builds a baseball diamond, and at night these deceased baseball legends come out and play baseball. That's kind of a cool in his one. field. Is it a good movie? It is a good movie, actually. Okay. So this thing with the passageways, you need to build it, and then they, well, will, they will come. That's what I want to do with this house. That's why I want to build the tunnel. Right, okay. It's just because it's weird. And, like, what's in there? What's behind that door? Yeah. I, I just, I want to have, and I want to have, like, I have this obsession in my mind anyway. It's not like it's, like. But um, one, of them, one of the doors has to be booby-trapped. Right? Yeah, just like a. <laughs> <laughs> put a picture. No, put Indiana Jones's hat hanging on a hook on it as the clue as to not right, freaking yeah. open it because you'll get right, marked. Right. But um, in my new shop, whenever I build that, I was telling my Patreon audience that I want to have what I call the small door. And I don't know why it has to be a small door, but it's got to be a small door. Where yeah, like a little mouse door. No, no, no. human sized. Oh, let's say kid sized. Okay, but normal size. Little person sized. Right, but normal like normal width and just short. Sure, it doesn't have to be, but the room is normal. It's not low or small or okay, anything. Okay, it's just another room, but you get through it through the small door. Okay, I want it to be like so that not everyone can go in it, so it's always mysterious. Oh, so it's got to be really narrow. Yeah. Okay. Not necessarily narrow, actually. I mean, just, uh, it just has to be uncomfortable. So, like, when I'm yeah. old, I can't go in it anymore. Because you won't be able to bend over. To, right. To I just want it to, but yourself. I want it to be normal. 
door. Like, I don't want it to be like, where's the door? Oh, it's the little door. It's right there. So okay. just because so so it requires a big step to get over part of it, and then it's also kind of short, so you have to like bend yourself like this yeah. to get through something like that. Yeah, okay, just something weird. We went to this church, so you can't uh, just crawl on the ground, right? That's too easy. It has to be you got you got to get step over through the thing. Yeah, yeah, okay. I like that. I didn't actually think of that, but that's a good idea. We went to this church for a funeral, so so it looks like a full door, but only part of it opens. So, so you're like, what the hell? Like those horse doors. <laughs> yeah, 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 Dutch door. Yeah. Yeah, so you, you try to go through the doorway, and only the top or the middle part yeah. opens. You're like, what the? <laughs> um, but at this church, they had uh, really skinny doors Okay. that were real doors, but they were like, they weren't really hidden, but they were like part of the like the wainscoting okay. kind of thing. But they were they were obviously there, but they blended in. Okay. Anyways, I just wanted to see like, oh, what is what is through this? So I opened it and a little doorknob. Whoosh, and it's probably about this wide. And it's a pantry. No, it was a hallway. <laughs> oh. So it was meant for passage. Okay. Like for maybe like it was the like altar a boys? Catholic church. Yeah. So like I imagine something like that. And it was like like it wasn't short. But it, it was like six feet, so taller than me. But like, yeah, okay. Not enough space for someone of like average height necessarily okay. to use as their regular pet. And it's, but too small for the priests to molest the children in that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were safe in there. <laughs> Good. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> we've been all over the place with this vlog. <laughs> or this so, live. <laughs> so I think that's so cool too. But I was showing how I want to have like say this room goes into that room, or whatever. I like hallways. For some reason I love hallways. But okay. I also want to have like, you know those rooms or those houses that are poorly designed. You would love dams. Like if you're inside a hydroelectric dam, yeah. They have hallways in them that are just long, long corridors. Yeah. I have a picture of one of them. It's oh, just yeah. goes on, you're like it's so long that you're like, where's the end of this thing? Yeah. Because it pinches down, you know, like in the distance so right. far away that the the tunnel at the door at the other end is just like this big, you know? Yeah, I love that too. Um, but anyway, for those of you who watch regularly, we'll kind of get understand the layout of this. And you, of course, know it. But coming from outside, going around the machinery, whatever, into the art trunk, and then into the new part of the art trunk that I showed you. Mm -hmm. Right? If you can imagine that. And then turning again into the little door. Okay. I just, I want Which it comes to, back into the shop? Well, in, in real life it does. But I want it to go, maybe that goes into the hallway that goes around somewhere else. Who knows? So it's like countertop height? So you open the door? Yeah. Just, just, and then it goes back into normal size though. Once you're in there, it's normal. I also probably just for safety have to make like an emergency exit regular size door, but I want it to a window. I want it to be no, no windows. Oh, because I don't want anyone to know it's there. Right. Okay. But the door obviously would give it away. But I would have right, it so right, it's right. like a hidden door, like a hidden door that yeah. you wouldn't you wouldn't tell that it was there. Okay. Um, I want it to be forgotten. Yeah. Okay. That can be done. I yeah. Anyway, and then I would also love to have like. Like a sub, sub, sub basement. I love that shit. Like going to West Simpson Mall yeah, and going yeah. in, like going into those back. Because like Sean, he works there. He knows where everywhere is. And so when the other gallery was there, Additions, we went to their storage locker. Hmm. And I was like, oh, what's that? They have a storage locker in the mall? Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Like, uh, but it's not like a roll up. No, no, no. But it's just a room. Yeah, yeah. Right? That's locked. And so... We go, we go into one of those, whatever, hallway doors, you know, that no one goes into, <laughs> yeah. right? We go in there, then we go downstairs, then we go down this hallway, then we go down some more stairs, and then we go down this hallway, and then we go down this hallway, and then we freaking get to where it's just lockers. Huh. So then we open that door, and then there's like thousands of dollars worth of art in there, and I'm like, huh. sick. I wonder how big the... the back part of the mall is like the part that you don't get to walk into and see like that stuff where the hallways are like how yeah. that's got it how big is it's it huge yeah. right I it's mean, got to be because people live there and they're never found right they like successfully live there 
Is that true, though? Yeah. Think so? Yeah, like, it's been on, like, the news and shit. I learned about now? it in social studies in, like, grade six. Really? Yeah. But I think that stuff is so cool. And, like, they're just... Like, if I was homeless, I feel like that's what I would do. I would live because it's warm. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Right? Like, I, and like, you could just hide. And like, I've watched a video of that guy in that one mall where he like made like a whole room, like a whole apartment. And like, I don't know how oh, he did. You yeah. saw that? I think so. And I've heard about like people living in other people's attics and stuff like that. And That's creepy. I wouldn't do that for, to for, someone. For months and they yeah. didn't know. I would not do that. But <laughs> like, I would do it in the mall. Like, it harms no yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, right. Right? Yeah. And I think it would be cool to like, you know, have your whole setup. Well, you know, I love junkyards, going and picking truck parts and stuff. Yeah. I've been so tempted at times to like hide in a car when they close. <laughs> what happens in the junkyard at night? You know? That would be a good. That would be a good vlog because people do that in Walmart and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Or they yeah. do stealth camping in Walmart or whatever. Yeah. There's got to be ways to hide yourself. Don't don't try this at home. In Walmart, I feel like they probably ask permission somehow. And they probably like it's probably they've got a security thing. guards and yeah I would and lots of WalMarts are open twenty four hours but someplace like a junkyard who's gonna know yeah well right. what if they have dogs though yeah yeah well I can stand on top of a car <laughs> you do I would I can jump from up. one to the other <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> but I mean what am I gonna do there anyway it's not like you know yeah just be cold yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> the whole time so I haven't done it because you know that would be fun though <laughs> yeah. I also, when we were little, sleep in the back of a car, or when we were teens, me and Dakota, we would sneak out sometimes. Oh, there's a bug. Uh, like if we're sleeping at like friends' houses or whatever, and we would just walk around the neighborhood or whatever. And I loved running from the cops, cops, or who, <laughs> just whoever. Like the police, like. We, they probably didn't want anything, but if they were happened to be there, we would just freak out because we'd be like, "Oh, it's the cops! They're obviously after us!" <laughs> right? But yeah. why would they? Be? It doesn't right, make any yeah, sense. Yeah. I loved it. I loved the exhilaration of like running, jumping over fences, and like uh -huh. going like, "Oh, turn here! Oh, turn here!" <laughs> and then trying to find everyone after after it calms down because everyone would scatter. Right? <laughs> just be like, "Oh, where where is everyone?" And then I I How figured. How many friends did you lose that way? How many did you never find again? I don't know. Everyone <laughs> came out after, oh. but like, I I had this one uh, incident. Well, it happened more than once, but this one incident where, since we ran, he's obviously like, "Why the frick are they running? They're obviously up to something." So they were, they me and my friend Kyle, uh, we ran together. We stayed together. We were running down this road and then there's like these bushes up against like this fence and we freaking go into these bushes and uh uh we like crouch down like this and we're waiting for him to like drive by and he has a spotlight and he's like oh right going around and then he he like stops he gets out of his car and he's like right by us and i'm like how the frick did he <laughs> see us because we're like in the bush and i'm like trying to like look right like i'm facing into the fence right i'm like looking and uh, I'm like, oh, maybe we like fucked up the the bushes too much, oh. and like scraggled them up, and he could see a hole or something. Right, yeah. So uh, maybe he just knew you couldn't have gotten somewhere further. No, he saw the for Christmas one year. You got me a Nike like athletic shirt that had a reflective <laughs> stripe. <laughs> so the stripe. Oh uh, yeah shines he it flashed oh, wow. and he he couldn't do it again because he obviously drove too far or whatever oh. and so then he's looking for it oh yeah for it and so he just <laughs> like he found us and he's like so why are you guys running what he let us go because we were just like oh we're oh, okay. just playing hide and seek okay, whatever yeah and he's like oh the only times that i ran like that as a kid it was because i had, had a reason to run one time uh we used to uh especially there by the townhouses we'd there were three trees, three big trees. We'd make a bunch of snowballs, sit there and wait for the city bus to come by. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just start winging them as soon as you see the city bus. And then the bus driver slammed on the brakes, and then we're like, oh, shit, gone. Just, uh, stuff like that. I'd run away if I... Uh, he wouldn't have done anything, though. No, but he hit the brakes. Usually they didn't. But that guy did, oh, so I ran. Yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. <laughs> I did that to kids before, this one kid. Another time, 
I was like, just it was summertime, I was just walking along, I have no idea why. I think I was about 13 or so, 12, no, not, yeah, about 12, 11, 12. Some dude in a muscle car is driving by, and for no apparent reason, you I just give him the finger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he's like, Rrr! I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's what I, exactly what I was just going to say. But some kid did it to me. Oh. He's just, and you could tell he was like a cool kid, you know, like a popular kid. Okay. Like he obviously is, maybe right. he's cool, maybe he's not. But, you know, he is the cool kid of the class or whatever, okay, right? right? And he's walking down, he's like got this swagger and he's just like, yeah. And I'm like, all right. <laughs> and then I put it in reverse. I think actually it was in my Mustang. So it was nice and loud. Yeah. Put it in reverse. <laughs> <laughs> And they just book it, and he's with his girlfriend or someone, and some other people. And he, at least he was a gentleman. He didn't abandon his girlfriend. She couldn't climb over the fence, so he's helping her up. And then he's like, he's trying to get up there, but like, like I'm like his anxiety is through the roof because I'm like, Aah! Yeah. Aah! and then I get out and I slam the door, and he's just like, oh shit. <laughs> and he like climbs over and he's like clamoring and he gets away. I wouldn't have done anything, yeah. but yeah. So he, oh, man, that's he booked it. I actually did that twice to two different groups. Another time I was in this pickup and I did the same thing. I stopped and like he didn't run away, but all his friends did. And he's like, he's not going to do anything. I stopped, but I was like, you know, like far from him still. Like 40 feet or something. Mm -hmm. Right. And, so and then he didn't run, so I'm like, all right, put it in reverse. And then he ran. He runs into the forest and then I park. Like he they run and they're all like looking. So then I park and then they, he's parking. They freaking book it again. And then and then they run a little bit and then they stop running again. So then I open the door and then they ran and then they, they ran too far for me to see. <laughs> <laughs> just hilarious oh, scare man. the crap out of them yeah because they don't know you're not going to do anything yeah, yeah. well i'm going to just yeah. beat up kids for flipping me off yeah. like that's not <laughs> <laughs> another time uh my friend and i were walking home from school and we found a tape on the side of the road like the, the tape had been pulled out of the tape so there's this long you know tape string like a cassette tape yeah cassette yeah. tape and so we're like hey you go on the other side of the road and i'll hold it on this side of the road <laughs> And it'll, you know, and car will drive through it and break and it. Break you know? it, yeah. Yeah. I actually, it might have even been a VHS tape. I forget. Okay. Anyway, some lady comes driving along. And at the last moment, she sees the tape, which is like at windshield height. And it's, there's nothing there. I mean, it's just, right. you can peel it apart with your fingers. Anyway, she freaks out. She's like, ah! Like, hands, <laughs> oh, hands no. off the steering wheel. She's like, ah, you know? <laughs> and then she breaks the tape, which is, you know, like nothing. And then she hits the brakes, and we're like, oh, no! <laughs> we booked it out of there. I couldn't believe she panicked like that. Hands off the steering wheel. I wonder what she thought it was. I don't know. Like, maybe she thought it was like, but you were holding it, so you, she would have yoinked it out of your hands. Yeah, right. Yeah, I mean, she's in a car. I don't know. She overreacted anyway. Huh. You know what I often do? And I don't know why. It's just a prank that I'll never see the outcome. But when I... And like walking in a parking lot, I always like, like look at when someone's in their car. I always like look at their car like something's wrong. <laughs> like, <laughs> like what? What is that? And then I'll like keep looking back at it. I'm like, huh. Weird. Maybe I should try that instead of trying to tell people they have a flat tire because they never seem to get it. Okay. Oh, in Los Angeles? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, lots of people have flat tires. So. Yeah, and you're like, hey, your tire's flat. And they're like, what? <laughs> one, one lady... I heard the vehicle first. It's thump, 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 thump. And I'm like, what the? She just turned onto the street I was on. And I look at her front driver's side tire, and it's like coming off the rim. It's like <laughs> sideways <laughs> flopping around, like hitting the rest of the car. You know? <clears throat> and I'm like, I roll down the window. I honk, I honk at her. Yeah, she's still driving. <laughs> yeah, thump, 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 thump. Yeah. So I wonder what she heard. Maybe her music was all loud. No. But she would have felt it, no? Yeah, she knew. <laughs> so I get her to roll down her window. I'm honking the horn and she rolls down. Her... I'm like, hey, you got a flat tire. And she's like, yeah, I'm trying to get to the gas station. <laughs> I'm like, no. 
it's it's coming off. Like you, you got to stop driving. She's like, yeah, the gas station's just up here. And I'm like, yeah, you don't understand. You're not. You can't go to the gas station. It's not going to do you any good. The the tire's done. You know, like just pull over and stop driving. She's like, oh, oh okay, dude, that's so funny, <laughs> man. Oh man, man, that reminds me of. By the way, guys, public safety announcements. If you're going to, I don't know who was street racing, someone else, because that's illegal, and we don't do that. But <laughs> if you have a jug of coolant or transmission fluid, transmission I think it was, fluid, yeah. in the bed of your vehicle. Yeah, and if your vehicle is relatively fast. Yeah, pretty fast, especially for a 90s car, truck. If you pin it, Perhaps, and this might not always happen, but it could happen, the jug will hit the, the back, the tailgate. which will break open the jug, and then it will spill all over the bed, go down the weep holes, and therefore all over the tires and brakes. And so when you've reached like 100 miles an hour, time to slow down, it's very hard to, when they're slippery as shit, you will be like, oh, <laughs> yeah, you pretty much did that. No, I didn't. That was someone else. <laughs> yeah, dude. Almost hit those cars. That yeah. guy was a freaking good driver, though, to pull out of that. I was, was, I was impressed. I was, I was impressed. I thought I, I was thought I was witnessing the truck get destroyed. That's what you're worried about? <laughs> yeah. Well, no, I mean, I was obviously, but... You know, you because you the the vehicle <laughs> came sliding in at an angle and like slow enough that the driver would be okay, you know, but like the truck was gonna get smashed. Yeah, that was close. Cause I don't know how fast they were going, but pretty yeah, fast. I don't know. Yeah, pretty fast. Yeah, Something. catching catching up to a light. <clears throat> so yeah. time to let off. So fun. I though. think it was the braking that caused the the cap to break. I think it, when it shot forward, when oh maybe that's uh, under what it was. deceleration. That's when the because uh, when you accelerate the vehicle, then stuff goes to the back of the vehicle. Right. Oh, and the wheel pulls are in the front. Yeah, and then I think it was when the brakes were slammed on to slow down. Yeah, it shot forward right, to the front of the truck. It. Broke the cap yeah. off of the jug. Gl dumped the oil underneath the tires. Oh man. Yeah, that was honestly. They remained calm. Canadian rust proofing. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was uh, that was good. I remember you were like, oh, dude. Yeah. What happened? <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> to the other driver, yeah. Yeah. And then we looked under it. I'm like, what was that? Yeah. Yeah, then it happened again because we went, took that hairpin turn. Oh. And I, I don't remember. Braked there and it like, I, like it went sideways. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. So there was still a lot of oil somewhere. I think the oil was in the brakes. Well, it was probably still. Oh, maybe. I don't know. Like in the. Oh. Are they drum brakes though? Yeah, in the back. Yeah. Oh, then maybe not. <clears throat> it wouldn't have been. Probably not. I yeah. Mean, uh, it, how would they get in the? But it was, it was still dripping off the bottom side of the bed and everything. Oh yeah, so. yeah. I think I put it in a vlog. So you should, you should, if you want to. I didn't, I didn't film the. The street racing, but obviously yeah, we didn't do that because we didn't even do it. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, that was and I was wearing my seatbelt. Yes, good. I saw your thing where you got a ticket, and then uh, virtually every comment was about not wearing your seatbelt. Yeah, I was, and I was very happy to see that. So thanks to all you guys. <clears throat> I uh, was gonna. Uh, comment myself but then i was like no i think he gets the point well you don't have to wear your seatbelt in vehicles that don't chime when you don't wear it no you need to wear your seatbelt all the time oh <laughs> uh, i know Is do you know do you know when there's a cop yeah you still drive around sometimes without a seatbelt on if there's no cop why would you <sighs> so and you know what's crazy Okay, he, I'm going to not darken the mood of this video, but there's real good reason. Oh, I know, of course. Yeah. I know. And it's a it's a huge shame, and I do think about that all the time. But, like, yeah, that's heartbreaking. 
but it's uh, but it, yeah uh, okay all right i got i got something to tell you afterwards so i can't do it now but uh, okay all right so uh this, he didn't actually pull me over for not having a seatbelt he made it up what yeah he he pulled me over because i didn't have mud flaps oh and he said because you don't have mud flaps and you're not wearing your seatbelt. Because he saw you not wearing it once he came to the door. Mm -hmm. Oh. Because he didn't see that I wasn't wearing a seatbelt before. Because okay. I went, I've seen. So then you know what you say. I just, I just took, it, took off. it off. Yeah. Yeah. But I, because thought, I thought he. That actually happened to me once. I was yeah. wearing my seatbelt. Yeah. That's yeah. happened to me before too. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and they didn't give me a ticket for it. They they gave me a speeding ticket and were also saying I wasn't wearing Although in your case, I hope you get all the seatbelt tickets. <laughs> There's no demerits, so I don't care. <laughs> it's money you don't have. <laughs> now, yeah, but at the time, well, then I didn't have it either, I guess. Um, you got to learn somehow. The mud flaps, I hate mud flaps. I understand. If yeah. anyone ever says, hey, man, you broke my windshield, I'll just buy him a windshield. I don't yeah, care. Yeah. I actually did do that to a guy. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. He's all right, you motherfucker. Really? And I was like, bro, what? And he was like, he's well, like, some of the windshields are expensive nowadays, though. They got like sound deadening in them and stuff like that. They're like a grand or more. Yeah. Just FYI. This guy just had an old, I didn't know that, but yeah. Yeah. In that case, I'd be like, let's split it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's split it like I split your windshield. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will get mud flaps when I can get nice ones. It's just there, there's no such thing. They're so hideous. Get chains then, hang chains. Is that a thing? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Huh. It'll hit the chain just so like it'll hit a mud flap. But people do that instead of mud flaps? Yeah. I mean, I've never seen it on a pickup, but I think I've seen it on like highway tractors. I actually like that. Yeah, like if a, I got a bunch of chain hanging. Chrome chain? <clears throat> yeah. That would look nice. A bunch of chain hanging. That, that's my And then I'll, I'll, I'll... All it's got to do is slow the rock down and, I'll, and keep I'll it from going straight it, out the back. I'll stitch it together so it doesn't do this. It'll just be okay, yeah. like this. Yeah. So it will be, yeah, that's actually a good idea. <laughs> All right. Dang. Yeah, That because that will look like kind of different, you know? Like mud yeah, flaps, yeah. I think, are hideous. Uh, I just... Uh, they're just ugly. Yeah, As, especially yeah. those ones that are like a, like a brush. Right. God, I hate those. Okay. <clears throat> well, those have a use as well. I mean, especially if you're pulling a trailer, because that keeps the rocks from hitting like your holiday trailer. Oh, yeah. Okay. That <clears throat> so makes sense. So if you're towing and you've got gravel out here, you're going to find out real fast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're going to want something like that. All right. Well. Otherwise, you got dents and chips galore on the front. And if you have a window, then you probably have broken glass, too. Didn't you actually have that happen on this thing, or...? I thought yeah to that trailer yeah yeah yeah, yeah both the windows broke there you go that's, yeah that's why the middle one didn't though and that's the one that's louvered oh. thank goodness oh, okay yeah but I, i'm actually going to make for that trailer i'm going to make a cover for the windows it used to i think it used to have a cover but it, i okay. just don't have one. <clears throat> okay. or the other one that i was looking at had a cover of okay. course they could have added that but i'm going to do one that's made out of wood that's going to have like that Shutters? It's going to look sweet. No, not shutters. Yeah, well, I guess technically it'll be a Slide into the side, windows open, windows closed. Actually, I didn't think of that. I was going to have it so it like folded down so it could also be like a sill. So oh, you could put, like, yeah, a yeah. Plant a pl on there or <laughs> yeah. In case you want to bring your plants with you while you're Yeah, trying. well, I mean, because we're not going to use it. <laughs> Give them often. a taste of nature. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bring them back to their wild roots. For those people who like uh, camp in a parking lot, you know, I'll oh, bring yeah. nature. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what were you gonna say though? I don't know when. Something about before I. Oh, well, maybe I was gonna say something. I don't know. Before what? What were we talking about? About getting pulled over. <clears throat> oh, I was just saying that he didn't actually know that I wasn't wearing a seatbelt. Oh, I was saying that I I once was pulled over, for, uh, what was it? Uh, I think it was because I was driving with my park lights on and not my headlights. Mm. <clears throat> and uh so the guy it was actually like a traffic stop where they walk into the street and they just like hey get, oh, get in here I you know that. yeah 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 they it should so be illegal it wasn't the cop opinion. behind me or anything anyway so then um i know that he's gonna ask for my license and stuff so i undo my seat belt because my, wallet. my wallet's in my front pocket and i can't get it out with the lap belt on right <clears throat> so i dig it out and roll the window down and stuff and 
And then uh, I didn't even know why he pulled me over, and uh, or maybe could pull in there. And then he was kind of a jerk, and he's like, "Not wearing your seatbelt." I'm like, "Oh yeah, I was. It's I just took it off to take my wallet out of my pocket." And he's like, "Yeah, right." <laughs> you know, and I had a friend with me, so he's like, "Yeah, no, he did." And I had it over my shoulder still, you know, like. Oh. And, but anyway, luckily he didn't give me a ticket for that, and he just let me go. He's like, "Turn your lights on." I'm like, "Oh, okay." Oh. Hmm. I got a I got a ticket for uh, uh, speeding one time, and it's the same thing. I was wearing my seatbelt. Mm. I did get a ticket though for speeding, mm. and I uh, I asked to see the the radar thing because he said I was going ninety, and I was like in a seventy. I was like, oh. that's <clears throat> not right. That doesn't make sense. But I was going ninety. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. In this truck. No, it was in a car. Oh, I don't okay. remember which car, though. <clears throat> oh, okay. Yeah. I always speed, though. It's not a great habit, but it is so enjoyable. Like, I love it. I love, like, driving in general. But yeah. for some reason, I want to not do it for as long, so I speed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just, you know, it hardly makes any difference. If you're dri driving on a short distance, like from here to Edmonton, what are you going to save yourself one minute? Like, literally. If you do the math. Yeah, but it's, I don't know. I just, I. I know, you like the feeling the of going feeling faster. Just, and it just, it feels so good. Yeah, yeah. I well, don't know why. I, I mean, I get it, but I'm just saying that, like, time-wise, you're basically saving nothing. Unless you're going a really long distance, so. But, like, what is it? What's what? Why is going fast fun? Right? Because, like, <clears throat> drag racing, fun. Yeah. Roller coasters, fun. Yeah, yeah. You know? Oh, it's the thrill of the speed, the adrenaline. Taking off in an airplane? Yeah. Fun. Yeah. The rest of the flights, you can't yeah. <laughs> feel how fast you're going, so it's not fun. Right, yeah. Well, the landing is fun, too. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind that. But, like, I love when you're, like, you're just going. You're going so... I don't know how fast they're going when they're just driving to the takeoff lane, whatever you call it. <laughs> Taxiing. Right? So they're... And then it's just like... <laughs> Yeah. When that starts, I freaking love it. Yeah, yeah, that's my favorite part. <laughs> Push back in the seat, the power. Yeah, and then it's it's going fast, and then it, they have like. Imagine being on a space shuttle. Rocket power rocket after ship. it, though. Like it's fast, and then it's really fast. Yeah, yeah. I love that shit. And then that feeling when you. Oh, I love that. When you like <laughs> lift off, I love it. Yeah. <clears throat> well, we're probably going to bore these people to death. Yeah. Talking about nothing. Just talking particular. about nothing. Yeah. So, anyways. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out for how long has it been? Two hours? What? Holy cow. <laughs> I did not know it was that long. Holy cow. Two hours and 11 minutes. <laughs> Sorry. I thought it was like. Sorry about that. 50 minutes. I, maybe it went well then. I guess. Wow. <laughs> I, anyway, uh, I'm going to finish up the rest of another vlog 245 here, hopefully. I'm going to be doing some. Some more stuff to make it complete and then i'll have that out and then it's not going to be two hours it'll be back to regular regular vlogging and Man. and and such no wonder my feet are cold <laughs> yeah it is kind of cold in here i don't have the heat up too much yeah well the um, concrete floor too so yeah so look forward to that uh and then the next live we're not going to do another live until new year's where we're gonna uh give away all those prints uh, remember, you got to be there to win, though, and you have to have played uh, the Twelve Days of Christmas and or the thirty thousand subscriber giveaway. Those names are all in the prize pig as well. So look forward to that. That'll be on Christmas or sorry, New Year's Eve. Couple vlogs coming out. I'm gonna have uh, I don't know. I can't remember exactly, but anyway. Anyway, look forward to that. <laughs> also, check out my brother's photography, uh, Rene. If is Rene here? Uh, yeah. Rene, could you please uh, put his 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 Instagram in the thing, and then that's how we'll end. And to Martha, was it who tried to buy one, and I still have not. Oh yeah. Uh, sorted that out, and I'm sorry, and it's fine if you don't want it anymore. She's going to punish you with the jerky. She sent the jerky. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, I, I ha still haven't forgotten about you. I just, uh, uh, stuff happens, and I just haven't gotten to it. 
Sorry but but we will. In fact, yeah. we not me and Dakota. Well, have if thought she about, even still wants it, I mean, I don't know. She'll want it. <laughs> Let's not make the decision for her. If you don't want any more, <laughs> no, no, no. I, that's that's not, fine. I, she's more tight, so I'm joking. Uh, <laughs> and she knows that I'm joking. Okay. All right. she, she, she's not going to think. She, she, oh, I yeah, hope. actually, you know, I heard she wanted a few more of them, too, actually. Yeah, <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I don't want anyone to ever feel obligated about anything, no, uh, yeah, which no. I'm usually very clear on, but I can understand why that would seem like I would expect her to buy it. I don't, I don't at all. Uh, thank you, Renee, for sharing that. Everyone go follow his Instagram. He's got photography. Do you have that picture of the long dam hallway on there? Uh, yeah. You do? You want me to... Sh oh, wait a minute. On there? Uh, on Instagram? Ooh, actually, I don't know if I have yet. I've well, been bad about... Uh, you should put it on there. Yeah, I'll have to check. Okay, he's going to put it on there if it's not on there, maybe. Hopefully. Maybe. He, he we'll, might forget. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or he might not feel like it should go on there. I don't know. But, but are you going to pull it up? We may as well pull it up for those of you who yeah, don't yeah, have there Instagram. Yeah, there it is. There it is. It should, it should be on there. <clears throat> it's this one. Oh, yeah. Dude, that's so eerie. And right? also, it just like goes and goes. Like, where is the end of it? You know? And then there's a trough. Yeah, that's to collect the water that leaks because all dams leak. No matter how new or good the dam is, they all leak water. And so they build this trough beside the walkway to collect the water and carry the water away. The water leaks. That's such a good photo. I, I You can't really see it as well because of the glare and all that stuff, but check it out on Instagram. Yeah, it's a ways back. I don't remember when I posted that, but it's so it should be in there. Oh, it says 2019, so yeah. So scroll up. All right, guys. Thank you for hanging out. I'll see you for New Year's.